All the promises where them make go One day not fulfill Then say them go build the bridge All right. The part they fly Boku All the promises where them make go One day not fulfill Then say corruption go down All right. You not then corrupt All the promises where them make go One day not fulfill Then be say you them go smile Look where you send the cry All the promises where them make go I'm going tell them the story Oh, 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 story Story, story We make Salomon Now they open the country, Ben Ben. Travel is in, don't put we go be in. Now they open the talk, say they spend, spend. Then go come, we go run after them, them. For we country money. And it's how we then go one by one, we go friend them. For we country money. And it's how we then go one by one, we go friend them. Country banana, the country it dry. Country tanga, it at your smile. Then they put we on cry. See, right now, now we hope you will die, bro. They say, they say, they woke and lie. They say they take money All the promises where they make go One day not fulfill Then say they go build the bridge All right. The part they fly Boku All the promises where they make go One day not fulfill Then say corruption go down All right. You not then corrupt All the promises where they make go One day not fulfill Then be say you them go smile Look where you send the cry All the promises where they make go One day no fear free I pay the people and don't tire with the system Tire with you with them, they lie lie Where they want make them oats and them married with Salomon money then they use buying Where they want buy them speedboats and them Salomon money then they use buying Where they tell them the truth and they vex My radio and TV they deny Una, 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 una want them move for the bambai Una, 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 una want them move for the bambai We tire with the rotten system Tire with the way them they walk We with the tire Tire with them but cool like light Tire with the way them they walk We with the tire What are they in the country? We don't tire And sound of the give fire We don't tire We better them empty We don't tire What are they in the country? We don't tire hey. They say, they say, they woke and lie They say, they take money Natural. All the promises where they make go One day not fulfill They say, they go build the bridge All right. The part they fly Boku Natural. All the promises where they make go One day no fulfill They say corruption go down All right You not then corrupt All the promises where they make go One day no fulfill Then be say you them go smile Look where you send the cry All the promises where they make go One day no fulfill Now then they shoot, then they lose them. Then they take, then all they put them. them We journalists, them sit them, them you yes, Like a spice of it, tell them the truth How long for this, how long for that How long for the thief we money and go You know me say because of free bond pampo That's me say we for die pampo The economy is slow Two. Can't see you know they go Oh no 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 Hey bo la la yo And then they give you the light like the duck or the water water Oh for the long time The duck water Say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And all I wanna say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah. And all I wanna say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Long time we don't suffer. The country bend, bend, we need a ruler. We don't tell you for each bread and butter. Say not grow man, the global life not proper. Yeah, yeah. Long time we don't suffer. The country bend, bend, we need a ruler. We don't tell you for each bread and butter. Say not grow man, the global life not proper. Yeah, yeah. Now them be promise we. Now them be promise we. And then be promise we. And then be promise we. How come they charge power love for treason? The judgments where they pass, they not get no reason. And the soup what they cook for we, they not get seasoned. Ah, that's in our sweets. We continue our sweets. When it goes sweets. Not in our sweets. So cool, so cool, so cool. Now them be promise we. 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 All I wanna say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah. All I wanna say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all I wanna say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah. And all I wanna say that he doesn't care about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money now and morning for that matter. So some people in exactly. the yeah, afternoon. So afternoon and I stand on all those protocols. Um, I tell them all plenty. Thank you for when I put on a time then aside for this very important um, session of dialogue with Dr. Mara, where mm -hmm. Mr. Sabinde referred to as talking to Dr. Kelfara Mara. I tell you, I pray to thank you for that. We all get important things to do, but for the fact that we don't put time aside, 
in pretending <laughs> into matters of national interest it mean a lot um, to uh, Sierra Leonean state. Me would chair this meeting for this um, today. My name is Momodo Mansare. Um, you can call me Momodo, please, um, which is easy. Um, I would once more again like to take the opportunity for and turn out plenty thank you and for honoring the invitation to this very important session of dialogue with um, a talking to Dr. Mara, discussion pertaining issues and we get to do with the diaspora and for the country as well. I would also like to thank Dr. Mara for this brilliant idea where he take um, for engage we, for listening to we, and perhaps um, ask me questions then, or listen to me comment then about matters we relate to um, Sierra Leone and how in the future, may God make it become a succeeding what they farm, we're able for and uh, help the diaspora away. Uh, the purpose okay. of this um, session today, as far as my understanding goes, now a dialogue on the future of the diaspora in Sierra Leone economy as set out in Dr. Mara's strategy, strategy paper, a paper we incessantly refer to as the vision of hope for Sierra Leone and by extension, a decisive choice of creating wealth and jobs. Um, Dr. Mara, is there also today purposely for listening to reviews then? And uh, we comment then what they make and perhaps clarifications then to market the social media economy um, in Thailand if you become president. I don't want to labor too much on that because the man himself get for touch on that, you get for summarized ambition statement. So no for repeat things then I will let that subject take care. But again, you will find for let me know who Dr. Mara is. Um, me was you don't soon I had the chair this. To be honest, I don't know I'm too much, perhaps as other people did, you know. But what I know of a man like him from the previous encounter where I get with him, now a man where I see he gets strong family values, a man will respect everybody, speaking big one, small one, women, all from all backgrounds. And I note also say I'd admire him for one thing we if you always like way they way they give in talks them, some sensible parable step. And as recent as when we had been hosted, if I may remember quite well, and in fact I pay attention more to the parable than to the question we ask them. The way they answer the question, he talks, say, well, if you go inside a room that you meet a, a woman will get two picking them, we one twin them, the one they cry, the one that they cry, now because the woman only don't find, you know, and that it means a lot. So that's the one thing I know Dr. Marao. In addition to that, I know I'm saying, yes, you don't hold every important positions then that we country Sierra Leone. Um, you don't be chief of staff, finance minister, bank governor, and foreign minister. In addition to that, it you know, also uh, very important um, and um, position, uh, take important positions in that uh, international intergovernmental organization, such as the Commonwealth. You know, so that wealth of experience, team, I think, it put on a very um, firm position and of, of trust for me. Yeah. Apart from that, I don't know much. Um, about what he get for do with the diaspora. And I'm not gonna be surprised if Una would also today want for no more and una, una also in a new position also. So I they appeal to everyone for let me listen and let me listen good and make constructive comment them or come and, and, and ask clarifications there or questions them with pertaining to uh, the diaspora. Um, I would let also at this point, I'll go for ask Dr. Mara uh, for lay in where he introduce where he do in presentation for introduce himself and then make uh, the people already know know but how much get an understanding of who he is, you know. And before we get to Dandy, there are a few things that we are going just want for applying. Now, so I know say this now a forum now a sessions like in any other sessions then. 
we get housekeeping roles. We get all um, look to um, few areas then we with the platform principles then. So one of them we now the code of conduct I explained to now. Now please if anybody wants to say anything, let go through the chair and by raising your hands up, then go alert me and I will make provision for let you to come in and give you comment or make any uh, clarification or ask questions then. And when they do so please state your name, state where you who side they come from. And then if a question you get, clarification or comment are all allowed. That's fine. That's no problem. And the second point I want to make is they will respect each other's view. You know, we all do now, so we get diverse views then. We all get different interests then. So they will respect that. Then the third thing I would like to say is this is not a forum we, I believe, um, it and um, different background. Hello? No, yeah. The back? yeah, okay. So let, let me go. Yeah, so I'm going to try for talk today. This forum, this this session itself is, is made up of Sierra Leoneans from different backgrounds and perhaps even friends of Sierra Leone, you know, than the, than the listener. So, so with this diversity, I want to respect that as well. And um, in as much as now politics we can't talk about, we're very important. As one time me, me professor talks, if you say politics is not your business, then you are let full in, uh, fools rule in you. So therefore, this is an important topic, and let me all address on that way. The, we the talk about national issues, then not about party politics, you know. And those national issues, then now on that theme, the Dr. Mara want to um, position the diaspora how we will contribute. Um, the fourth point we we'll get is uh, love give chance to one another, and what would they make a point? Let not criticize each other individually. Let me address the point with the person they make, rather than critiquing the person who they make the point. You know, it will find that we let me address the subject itself. Lastly, here for me is that let me not use please, please the F word. Abusive language not allowed. Not allowed. And for because of time loading, I will say the game. I really want to limit this to one hour 30 minutes, hence I don't get much for say. I would like to bring in Dr. Mara at this point, following the running order. The running order here is Dr. Mara they can give a short presentation now of a um, vision we get for the diaspora and for the country as well. Yeah, and Mr. At, Chair. Mr. Yeah. Chair, sorry. Um, is there any way we can observe a, a, a one minute silence prayer before we, we proceed from here? Yeah? Yes, thanks for that observation very much. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, maybe just after this two point work, they would make now and then before the camera starts, we can observe that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. So, so Dr. Mara will get for give a just short um, summary of the presentation. Uh, in relation to the vision we get um, for the country and for the diaspora. And they have, this will be followed then by um, opening the floor to every attendees for ask questions, then make comments, and then um, take the, the, the discussions further. I, I'd expect this interaction for the, this session for being interactive and also accommodating. But as somebody we don't observe already, please let me observe one minute silence on our individual faith who we all get. Amen. Amen. Uh -oh. I think on that note, um, at this point, I would like to bring in Dr. Mara. Let me give you a short presentation. And then um, we go take them up from there. Doc? Yeah. Um, side, sir. I want to say um, a very big thank you um, to Unawe host week tonight. And I want to say welcome. And many more thanks to everybody who joined this conversation tonight. Um, I no one for go down the path for introduce myself. Probably during the course of this conversation, 
um, the background will come, but um, I just want to do a short one. Um, that growing up may not be youth leader, uh, student leader, uh, local government administrator, um, study um, at the US, New York, work with the Senate Finance Committee, and then work with the Center for International Development, work with the Commonwealth Secretariat as advisor on public finance, and come back home, um, work as chief of staff to Mr. President, uh, under President Koba, work as Minister of Finance and Economic Development, this time during the Ebola days, work as governor of the Central Bank and Minister of Foreign Affairs. And other services are provided globally, a chair of the G7 Plus, when an association of 20 ministers of finance drawn from 20 other countries, serve on the World Bank Advisory Council on Gender and Development, and a co-chair the global arrangement for peace building and state building, and work with the UN, uh, especially on Rule 16 on peace uh, and conflict. Well, I'll get some excellence award, but now I'm for go into all of that. The uh, family I want to say, you know, one of the APC flag there are aspirants. But tonight, what I want to shout to now, and I want to say thank you to the one that we attend um, the last conversation. What I want to do tonight, not to for go down deep into what the vision statement they are about. It's online. Some people don't listen to me before. And I strongly believe that um, as they go, people would be very bottom. But um, what I want to shout to now about um, the vision is that I think I all want to say, I don't say, if I'm for the head of state, I for share with the citizens within the exactly the thought process. For me, you can't just wake up one morning in a fragile state and call one and say, I don't say I want for lead. You get for show something where you get for make a difference, where they draw a line between what the waiting did not happen before and what it really they look for. I take and say for 60 years, poverty level they grow with the population. I think we need a reality check. We need to feed ourselves, not get sufficient water for drink. We health infrastructure and systems weak. The economy is challenged. And so I just believe, say, a fine for me to do something new. The poverty reduction we don't take back for about 60 plus years, not a book. The view, as I don't learn from other economies, and serving President Koroma, there are a few things I do under his leadership. We help for build our foundation for create work. And I think to say that legacy of President Koroma, that he actually I want for build upon for create wealth and jobs, and move this country forward. And I want to say from the outset that not to silver bullet, I don't get all the solutions. I know I pretend to say whatever I get to solve the alien problem tomorrow morning. Comcast. I believe well, I whatever know. I get, I just a framework. A lot of suggestions, but waiting actually at the suggest. Now forget no. this conversation with Tuna, so that Tuna self will make Tuna input. So tonight, what I want to do specifically, now for focus on what we believe we get for do for the diaspora. But make our talks a little bit about what the vision they about, what we we set out for do. We want to create wealth and jobs. But the most important thing I think to say we need for do is Sonko Sonko will get our country now for done with them. We for go for peace and national cohesion. We live as one family in the country, respect the democratic and human rights institutions, including the judiciary, ensure that the police do their work well, lay that civil foundation. When peace and calm return, that the rest of the world will get confidence for investing in our economy. Let me not forget, no matter how many resources we get, no matter how brilliant we plan to be, if we're not able to live together, if people not see we as a country who are really serious about peace, and let me not forget that to carry the peace of, you know, of 
Lord Diamond. So basically, so what you are say is therefore build the foundation for peace. So taking this country forward, we therefore place the private sector under the driving seat for create wealth and jobs. Few things that we need for doing at the economy. One now for move from subsistence agriculture to large scale and commercial agriculture. The other one now for ensure that we take control of our fisheries resources for make sure we're able to package, we're able to process as well as export. We have to look at the staffing pattern because those folks have can can you please mute? Please, who is that? Yeah, please, can someone who is? Can you mute, please? Okay. So I can I can roll out for make sure that the livestock opportunity we will get in our country we will leverage that so that we will begin package process and export meat. We need for regenerate rubber plantations and begin process for add value. We also need. First, can you mute everyone, please, and let Dr. Mara speak? You need to mute everyone. Let's give Dr. Mara an audience, please. There's a lot of background noise. When it's time for people to ask, okay. to raise their hands, and we can. Okay. Um, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, um, we, we we get for things. We get for some things around, especially for people. Um, I'll go ahead for say we get select constituencies within the country we get for look after the women would go for women for better the young people the young shall grow even domestic workers abroad we get for look after them we get for look after people away then not as senior citizens and not serve this country the pensioners we get for look after them but tonight what I really want to speak to that the role with the diaspora get for playing at the economy. For me, the diaspora now a very, very open opportunity space, like you see. I miss have done that at the diaspora. And I know how much value the diaspora don't add to the economy. In trying times, the diaspora don't always stay. Noise at the background, though. Just a minute. If we can get that person to mute, please, that'll be great. Yeah, Tamba. Yes, I'm trying to. Is it possible to mute everyone? Yeah, that's what I think I've been trying to do here. Okay. Okay, so let, let me roll out. Yeah. Um, so for me, actually, we get for position the diaspora and the economy. Because if we go for, for wealth creation and jobs, for me, the diaspora get for play the central role. Good. Okay. Okay, clear now? Yeah. I yeah. Hope so. I hope so. yeah. this is really what I Yeah. And how we get for place the, the, the diaspora? First and foremost, the foreign policy, they change. And they move away from ongoing and normal diplomatic arrangements between we and nations. Which I would require me ambassadors and high commissioners for do and for go for investment. We want to see the high commissioner to the UK, it would bring between five and 10 investors and this economy. The same in the EU, the same in the US, and many other major cities around the world. If we able leverage that, we will begin to create wealth and jobs. Normal diplomatic arrangements don't they go on for decades. I don't think to say we will continue that way. We need to change the strategy. So that's one of the things I got for doing. And each of the ambassadors or high commissioners get for sign performance contract and ensure that they do so. And these contracts get for be live, every citizen to able access them. And the last time at a meeting with Tuna, tell when I say, when I've been there at the office of chief of staff and create that platform to which we'll be able to track 862 projects of President Roma live across the country, whether on water or energy or anything we'll be tracking. And so, therefore, 
the performance contract of 10 high commissioners and ambassadors on investment um, will have to be captured in that tracker. But going beyond that, we're going to establish a special office for the diaspora. The office will decide whether it's within the Ministry of Finance for tax purposes and investment or foreign affairs for purposes of working with the, with the high commissioners and ambassadors. We will settle that later when we go into government, God willing. But we need to forget that special department, not to just diaspora office. In that particular office, we get forget people who they look at incentives. We get for get people who get for take a look at waiting for do for help the diasporans for able access land without headache. And they tell every Sierra that we get for be sure of one thing: something don't always continue for country. And what is this? When Grafo Sharp and William Wilberforce and the others in 1787 come Sierra Leone. They negotiate for the province of freedom, uh, of freedom that now this free town and call on the crown colony then then buy them from a king then negotiate all the deals immediately after that another king can say and get them then buy them the second time me will not know say now so land business then at this country and it's very tough and difficult for the diaspora around that and one of the things that that, that office care for the deal with but not only that, the responsibility of that particular department are for ensure that it's very easy for the diaspora for set up their business. You know, with the UK or US or anywhere in the world, you want for set up a business, for even open bank account and get the business name and go through all the corporate affairs arrangement that it takes you two to three months. No, enough of this. So, in fact, the investment arrangement get for be one stop shop. But we need to forget this office for do this for the diaspora. So, what do we go do going beyond that? With this special department, we we'll therefore also ensure that we we'll get the diaspora investment initiative. The diaspora investment initiative get for help with for see which areas that the diaspora has to invest in the economy. One of the things that what we can for do are for leverage areas of opportunities there. Key among them are tourism. So if you did not the diaspora, for example, you want to invest in this particular sector, like you want to go to medium or, or you want to go into ecotourism, or we would not do a survey of relics and monuments in the country and do PPPs, public-private partnership arrangement, one people learn for money, some of their sites, the diaspora will be giving you know priority. How not get for come to that? That's not the responsibility of this particular office. That is why we get for get this diaspora investment initiative. Possibly we will get for roll out a diaspora bond. But one of the key things I strongly believe we get for do the diaspora and for roll out one major initiative. And that is what affordable housing. I'm sure we all wait on day or day right now in Europe and America and elsewhere. No one thing that housing very, very important. The one that we start for investing in housing corporations always they into money. So what do we go to? Government they provide the line and the required infrastructure and get you the diaspora along with your kids for buy shares and invest in that special purpose vehicle. The affordable housing will be a rolling project. You start, you help, for example, the police, you get nurses, you get teachers continuously. And how government get for work and for them one day they is. Whatever we get for do as housing allowance will be tied, tied to it. So that at the end of the month, person will crash in here as to whether this person they will meet in bill or not. So gradually, as we go, the projects they continue. But what is good about this is at the time we begin them, they have their soul of mind to the country. Hello. Yeah, go on, Doc. So far. You get me. Okay. Yeah, we get you. So. That now one thing we really, really need for do. 
So with this affordable housing arrangement, immediately after it or whilst this they go on, we can take on other projects. One of the projects will be energy, clean energy, renewable energy. By then we don't train young, talented solar engineers, we will not organize them into companies. Then we'll get them the diaspora for partner with them. So it can for be investment, investment, investment initiatives. For me, what in the diaspora to contribute to the economy is huge. We for organize them. And the more we organize them, the better. There are so many opportunities in this country. But one of the toughest challenges the diaspora they face, how we go about them. Negative. Call one person, the person starts, then he stop. They go a month or two, sometimes throughout the whole year, enter into another year. Then they find a difficult to get started and for deliver or realize their potential or realize the particular thing where they may hope for achieve. So I they invite every diaspora, therefore, drawing from this short initiative, as I explained to Ona, we could get this conversation. Make I hear from Ona. Is there a way over and beyond which I don't say Ona strongly believe government will do for help the diaspora, not only invest in this country, or any other thing that believe to say government will do? One thing that we are specifically not mentioned here, yeah, because until we have been able to discuss with plenty of people that the diaspora citizenship, I don't see no reason for waste time with that. <clears throat> because when you keep citizenship this way, you know, open up, up for people that the diaspora, you limit their potential not only for invest, but for participate in overall development trajectory. I don't think it, it will be difficult for make somebody who do a citizenship. But normally when you say this, people they say, oh, well, parliament will pass or no. I guess certain things that we are set up, like this investment initiative, like the tracker for track, every other activities, like performance contract on investment, like this soil studies over there for do for commercial and large scale agriculture. The regeneration of, of, of the opportunities that we will get, especially in the green economy, and what we will do for establish the Young Entrepreneurs Fund, the skills development fund, so that we'll get a good number of experts within the economy. These are my 100 day strategies, and I'm very clear as to how we will go about them. But tonight, I want to ask you how will you want to participate in the economy? What are the hurdles and what are the impediments? What did Dr. Mara or Kelfala Mara don't put forward? Is it enough? Or if it is not, what else would we do to ensure that we broaden the scope of it, not only deepen it, but ensure that we put something on the table such that when, when we get started, it will be good for everyone in the diaspora. So that is the initiative and that is the suggestion. And that is a proposal. So if you ask me, Mr. Moderator, over and above everything within the document, and I encourage everybody for take a look at them. Look at the sectors, flip them, are very open, you know, casting stone, although not to silver bullet as well. But I want for a reform now all. Within our thought process, how now want for make we take this thing forward so that at the end of the day, everybody go participates in the economy and will not for you at the diaspora will tell you clearly exactly how not to want for participate. I think to say incumbent on me for drawing our attention to this, incumbent on me for asking exactly how we want for participate in the economy, a new platform I want for create. So that we will be able to tell me what you will not want for see happening as part of my own contribution to the development of this country going forward. So I want to stop there and say thank you and invite questions, reactions, and comments. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mara. Um, really thank you for this. In fact, the idea that you bring us together today for discuss issues and we 
pertaining to the country, a very important and uh, effort that. In fact, would you talk to remind me of Northern and uh, sorry, Republic of Ireland? There was once a time when they did in a very bad situation, and the diaspora rule towards Ireland, now I put them to the Utah and this so. So this is a very important um, family, brothers and sisters there. Uh, and the fact that it get me in a mind um, for the future progress of that country day and make life easy for we the diaspora, uh, I really appreciate that. And I'm sure that will join me in that as well. And not to labor too much here about um, talking, I would like for entertain um, questions then now, comment or clarifications then. Dr. Mara, in vision statement, a day, I think, I know many people don't read out, I don't get out, I don't get some aid, but if you don't get an aid and you want to get access to RAM, you can either contact me or contact uh, Tamba or uh, Superman. Uh, we, we, don't get... we don't share on the, on the message box here, on the text box. Okay, text great. Box, so. uh, there you go. So do, um, let, let me begin for entertain questions there now or comment or clarifications there because we got a lot of people there on this forum where I believe still and one for ask, comment or make um, um, raise some issues there. Anyone to start? Uh, I think we we'll, I think we'll get Mohamed Dumbuya. Uh, Mohamed Dumbuya. Uh, uh, Mohamed Dumbuya. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, thank you, um, Dr. Mara. Um, yeah. Mohamed, you know, we are just, please, sorry, just before you go, I forget to mention one thing before. Would you limit um, any contribution, comment, or clarification here to max, max, max two minutes? Because we want for the other people <laughs> as well. So please, I really it's, forgot it's, to it's, say this before. No, no, I think that's, that's fair, especially for Tucker. Talk, people like Mr. Tucker, like myself, Naya. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mr. Moderator. And uh, thank you very much, Dr. Mara. Dr. Mara, you know, I mean, um, I, I've, I've been a fan of yours, right? I've, I've you. admired you from afar. Um, you know, what my biggest impression came when doing the Ebola, when you were Minister of Finance. Um, from, from a distance, I was really impressed uh, during those tough economic times, um, how you guys were able to manage the Sierra Leone economy. It was not the best, but it was not the, it, it was really good. So, uh, and that definitely um, is, uh, is, is an indication of the kind of person and the, the talent and, you know, uh, you have as a finance or economic person. So uh, we know the role of a, of a minister of finance in our economy. So that's why I first became a fan of yours and all these years I've been a fan. Um, I've read your, your, your documents, the, the green, white, and blue economy, um, your vision statement. I agree. It, it was really, really good. Um, so your point about the diaspora, I've known during, the, um, during Dr. Uh, and by Koroma administration, there was this office of the Office of the Diaspora Affairs. And I think this is why your idea of this uh, diaspora um, 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 that you're trying to set up, I think that's the, because I was a beneficiary of that office because when I finally moved to Sierra Leone right after the Ebola, it was through that office they helped facilitate um, me having a job in Sierra Leone, which uh, I moved back yeah. for five years. And uh, so thank you for bringing that such initiative and even not just bringing it back, but expanding on it. Um, but for me, what, what, one of the, the areas that I think we should be focusing on more, which you have talked about, is about uh, diaspora um, financing. You know, as a, somebody in the private sector all my life, you know, I know the value of uh, private sector the one challenge we have in Sierra Leone is about financing, you know, you know, through our banking system or what have you. That is really, really poor. You know, first thing they go to a bank, you ask for 100 million loans, they go tell you, say, 30% or 25% interest. That is not business friendly. So for me, what I would suggest is that's a, a definitely area that I think you know, as if God willing, and I they pray God give you the, the, the opportunity for lead the APC party and win the election, that would be the area I think we should focus more for the diaspora. How can we create an enabled environment to get more 
friendly business finances for people from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. So if I will give any contribution, I don't, I will not say much for now, but definitely, definitely I'm really impressed with everything. Me admiration, you definitely don't live up to him. So I will continue to be a fan. So that'll be all for me. Thank you guys. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Doc, you want to give any comment towards that or because no, actually let what you say let's like continue. statement mm-hmm. more. No, let's let's continue mm-hmm. taking other contributions, I think. Okay. Not a question, so not contribution, okay. Yeah. The next mm-hmm. point you want to get from here, um uh, a possible call it legal. Who is legal? Yes, yes. I like nigger. Yeah, where, where are you from? What's your name? Where are you from? And uh, yes. Please, if you talk, if you get, you know, it's background mute. We cannot tell you. Oh, please. Um, we cannot tell you. Yes. Uh, yeah. I cannot tell you. Okay, then. Liga, we cannot get you. Yes. Okay. I said, I said, thank you so much, Dr. Kefala Mara, for very good insight. Uh, we cannot tell you. Hello. 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 I think diaspora is the life of the low economy. And then uh, we well appreciate the, uh, the initiative from Dr. Kekala Mara that to bring all the very good initiatives and so and uh, the roadmap of the diaspora and how can we handle the economy. economy. And this can go as a dream. It has to be sort of an focus and attention to the diaspora. My my thinking is that the diaspora can consider this one Negro. Digable. So thank you so much. Hello, yes. I, 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 Mr. Moderator, I didn't hear him quite well. <laughs> Hello. Yes, it was so noisy. And you guys hear me? Yeah. The background. Hello. Hello. Yes, are you with me? Hello. Are you guys hear me? I just about hear you clearly. It's not clear. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, is it legal talking now? Now that it's talk. Legal, you've been to say something, but Dr. Marano gets you clearly. We said that was trouble for you really clearly. So what now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, my point is, I said, very no, thank you to Dr. Gefala Mara for a very good initiative. I think that's one is the cable of our Sierra Leone network, uh, our Sierra Leone economy. And um, w- this kind of initiative, my question is, is the Air Front can see this kind of platform and this kind of initiative to support our brothers for very good initiative, for very, very brilliant initiative that is posed to us. So that's my, 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 my contribution okay. tonight. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah, Doc, did you get that? Yeah, I... Okay, so um, what are the suggest here is we don't go want to get too many questions at the same time. Maybe we will go take three three questions then each, and Dr. Marago will respond if we are need be. Then we take another set of three. So far, I don't get two. I don't get uh, Mohammed Bangura. We just don't talk. Legal don't talk. The next person within our list now, Mohammed MLK. <laughs> No, I can't hear him. Yeah, okay. I can't hear him. Can you guys hear him? Can someone tell MLK to unmute, please? MLK, we're not hearing you. And uh, okay, okay, can you hear me now? Uh, yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, just yeah. about. Uh, yeah. Just a straightforward question to Mr. Mara, Dr. Mara. Um, based on what you would only see they happen in our country, if a fortunate for be the elected candidate for APC and fortunate for win the election, what he go do for the um, forces 
environment forces, police and uh, military to be independent rather than orders from above. Fine question. That's a perfect question. Thank you. Okay. Okay. The understanding is the first two com and commentators and contributors and, and I mean contribution they make. And MMK don't ask this question here. So okay, that's not one way Dr. Malag will respond to. Anybody get else for make another contribution, an idea with Dr. Malag will note? Me and the op yes. yeah, me and yeah, me and the op op Okay, the next person you are get actually will the fourth person, but Mr. Anthony Kamara. Okay, thank you, Modrito. Um, first, I just want to commend um, Doc for your initiative. I think it was very important. I would like for... to talk. Can I talk? Oh. Yeah, where, where are you calling yeah, from, Anthony? Anthony, where are you calling Anthony, from? Anthony, um, London. London. Yeah, hold That's on, Anthony. Anthony. Hold on. So, yeah, Anthony, you, you are the one talking now. Somebody else yeah. interrupted you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Modrito. Uh, no, obviously, first, I want to commend um, Doc for a... Uh, the initiative. I think in in all the time I've done the follow Sierra Leone politics, it's very, very difficult for me somebody come up way, way beforehand with um, a strategy of how you want for ruling the country and many people in Georgia based on that. Uh, only concern is don't you think that you run the risk of um, opposition tapping into some of your ideas? But that's a conversation for another day because some people then get ideas there, but you keep on to yourself and wait until the time is right. But you took the initiative you want to address it straight on. Thank you for that. The question and what didn't draw me more into the your, 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 your journey, and I've been following you for a very, very long time before I even know anybody in your family, is you talk about affordable housing. As much as I applaud that, I think there may be something for adding to this plan strategy is social housing. Sierra Leone as a government, not the, not the currently built houses, social housing, for frontline staff and for people that we, we really need them. The houses that we see are don't get currently from the locals housing time, we then build their houses today. I don't think they see a little government as a whole, previous and current, I don't think they've built any social housing for Sierra Leone. So I feel say maybe going forward, something to look into is add something around, not just affordable housing, but social, social housing that could benefit. Um, the 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 less the teacher, because I feel like they they're no longer forgotten. So for me, I just want to hear what your plan is for social housing going forward. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I think thank you for that. I think um uh, uh, Pius next. I think Pius you haven't been on the up for long. You go unmute yourself. Please unmute. Please. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Yes, my yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Timan. Um, I'm in Paris, school, man. I live in Holland. I get a um, few con uh, questions for Doc. Well, um, one is uh, about winning the diaspora. Will it get them so difficult when we do shipment, especially to Freetown? In the final city, if we ship to Guinea, more lesser than we ship to Sierra Leone. Like if they ship a car to, uh, to Guinea, you pay like 400 euros, which is about roughly $500. When you ship to, to, to Freetown, you pay about 1,100 euros, which is almost $1,200. So the difference is too high. So I don't know what are the cause of that. <clears throat> Are you able to come inside because <clears throat> they really, really hit winner the diaspora? Then, secondly, I get concerned about the the minerals within the export, especially the the Shandong, and um, of late they don't begin export other mineral within they call the Zakop. Mm -hmm. and the, the, then the then the then the then the miner around that that retail area. But mm -hmm. when they move this Zakon, then they tell you say at 25 ton. But the vehicle that when they carry the Zakon, they weigh more than that. So what do you go put in place? 
because we didn't look at the site in the container where the container come direct it will go inside the ship we don't know what you to go with so we don't know the amount of quantity within the go with then just the good and take the license and then begin exporting massive one what you could do where you would day in that office thank you yeah thank you so much um kelzo kelzo yeah thank you so much niggers yeah kelzo you hand up yeah please yeah how will put me out of what you have this answer you call from germany oh okay okay asan okay and she don't meet on me to say yes asan yeah well i get certain uh, issues uh, where the hell is there hello can you please mail to that please hello Yeah, perhaps on on mute yourself, on mute yourself, please. I don't meet all man. On mute yourself, yes. please. Yeah. Uh? Yes. Yes, you did get on. me. Now? Yes. Yeah, go on. You did get me. Go on, yes, sir. Go on, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I see. I've been getting certain issues there. Where we are going for bring up uh na the platform, especially. Why are you mute me? Why are you mute me, man? Who? Huh? Yeah, because somebody is somebody is speaking. So please, um, there's some noise uh, on your side, please. At the background, yeah. Okay. Hello. Right. Awesome procedure. Yeah. So uh, these issues we want for bring down directly to Doctor Mara. Doctor Mara, specifically, if you become uh, the president of Sierra Leone. Waiting at the policies that we feel to go able to put in place for ensure the achievement of your goals them like el el eliminating poverty. Wait, I am confused. Uh, what is this Zoom meeting about? Sorry, I'll remove this person. I'll remove this person. Don't worry. Hello. I'm removing. I'm taking the person off. Sorry. Yeah, how can go on now? Go on. Yeah, I mean, waiting at the policy, the most effective policies the way you go put in place for ensure, say, job creation go go materialize. That's at one point. And secondly, we say we go you go able for draw the resource system because when you they carry out this job um, creation, definitely. You go don't know who side you get for the right resource system. We go able for fund this um, uh, 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 goal we want for achieve. You know, I get certain suggestions. We I go also put forward to you because I feel say for now, uh, most most uh, governments uh, when they take over, they can usually find out say better than the at the treasury anymore. The money it all empty. So if you get a very ambitious program, which is fantastic for the country, but my concern is policies them, then they make them for able for implement certain goals them, for achieve certain goals them. For now, you don't tell me what you know goals, but you know, specify which type of policies that we, if you become a president of this country, which type of policies that we get for implement, we could be acceptable and 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 uh, and actually long long uh, lasting policies that will be said the nations can go benefit because more jobs could bring wealth that is clear uh -huh. of course me uh, on my side i get a starting suggestions because i know Sierra Leone is a very rich country in terms of natural resources i feel say one way where well, most countries they must they follow the economic program of certain countries they, they nationalize their resources take control of the resources in this way you go able for know how many diamonds they, they don't mine this year and the people they also go know how much resources that they can inside this country because for now i believe say diamond and other uh, natural resource system now foreign companies and they carry an out so they, they just kill loyalty to Sierra Leone which the population doesn't even know about because they really put on a stay and they really put on a newspaper or bring on a radio say this year then they export uh, they mine 
2,000 carats of, of diamond and uh, Sierra Leone get 10% of that or 20% loyalty and that equivalent to $1 billion, for example, nobody knows. There is absolutely no information, no transparency. You know? So, but if we nationalize and we get the, the, the educational resources, we get the technical resources for able from, for really carry out we own resources and mine them and control them and utilize them. And the resources are good for we. Okay. That could ensure, see, in different areas of the resources, we we're really able to amass a lot of uh, funds. We will carry out all types of projects in all of Sierra Leone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. And uh, um, Kelzo, you much can come now. Kelzo. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, brother. Okay. Hello, um, yeah, um, Mr. Moderator, okay. I'll go on after this. Make a respond now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that after, this. Yeah, yeah. Kelzo, after this, yeah. Kelzo, yes, yeah. it. And, and, and please do. Yeah, after please. Kelzo, anybody where they come in, I'll let just show himself on the video. Let, let, let me see him, you know. Okay. I tell a boca. There is no secret here. So go on, Kelzo. We carry out today. Me are the proprietor and editor of Lyle News, the Creole News. Lyle News. We you have Mara. something in your teeth. We can here today. For can ask Dr. Mara. We think we'll make you be president as alone. We're not care for can ask him. I will do things then. Wait me one for talk. You have please. Where Dr. Mara, the first of us see an akono. When they sing, Dr. Mara, Dr. Mara, Boku Boku Big Bullet. I'm surprised. I said, hey, this mouse can man this one. Now, I want to ask him questions they will know for ask him. Let me move on. Even like a villain. I want to ask him this question. The man, where I don't say I'm a potter potter, don't do all things for APC, don't work a work hard, don't do all kinds of things. Then go try for mix up all. But people in the password say in at the head for the big six. You know? I want to clarify that one day. Why make I want to clarify that one? I'll make you answer if nine at the head because they ask can I radio station. Say if nine at the head. Because when I ask that question, I don't want experts. They call me. Now, aviation experts and the world maintenance experts say, Dr. Mara, thief me talk the way at the talk now, the social media. I say, what? I say, because maybe, and I took the same thing, but I will tell on the man. That interview that AYB was so brilliant. Everybody watch him. So upon that, before ask him, say, Pa, where all the things happen, the old man, they glad, they glad for you. You also say, you wonder with people then, where people in the government read, or you want it for yourself? I want to make you answer with this question. If you go for yourself, will people like you, or you go with Kabulu? Okay. La line is already. Thank you so much. Hello? But please, in fairness, this particular forum today, this session here, now about the diaspora and also. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, you went to answer now. <laughs> okay. Issues that we get for do with the diaspora. <laughs> <for> <laughs> To the okay, okay, well, but but, well, but um, I will bring in Dr. Mara at this point. Let himself answer some questions that we other people and ask. But you do a very brilliant job. You but I just want to take time not for going to party you politics. Okay, Doc, your time, sir. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who ask questions. And I want to say um, I feel good because um, it shows that to a very large extent, then they add value to what I put forward and prove me right that no one can know it all. Now, to a forum like this, you serve the land and add on to what you don't do. So to Mohamed Dumbuya, yes, you're right. Diaspora finance is very, very important. But the reality is with interest rates in the domestic securities market is high, and interest rates within commercial banks so high. Reason why as governor of the central bank, I've been established what I call the Young Entrepreneurs Fund, when a preferential resource 
for support initiatives like this. But the thinking around that initially, and for young people where they come out of university, we want to invest, for example, in IT, or small initiative where you get, you know, I work for nobody, but we're establishing your business. So I think in a way we can hinge diaspora financing on this. But one thing I want to know is not only when the economy they perform, when interest rates then they down to some extent, and I wouldn't want to say to a very large extent, like then thing and they lubricate investments. They become the enabler for let people invest. But I'm sure the night we may want to talk, I make mention of the merchant bank. Because commercial banks, yes, they support many things, but merchant banks specifically they for support trade. Yeah. So diasporans, for example, where they in China or where they Turkey or where they UK or anywhere where one for do business the merchant bank here will go to a very large extent for help them. And with investment as well, with the Young Entrepreneurs Fund, I'm sure it will help them. But I also want to say this, that for me, we really take investment forward, we're going to be very, very clear, especially when we take a look at the monetary policy for ensure that interest rates stay low so that um, for take loan or for land from both sides would be affordable and will make it easier for people. So diaspora financing is taking on. Thank you so much, Dumbuya. We will tweak them and see how we will broaden the scope of that initiative. To so legal, we say the diaspora and the life blood, I agree with you. I think for rest, for answer that your question is, we will commit ourselves to what we call continuous engagement to the diaspora so that the potential of the diaspora gets will continue for be realized. So thank you so very much. I think continuous engagement will, will go a long way for handle that. So MLK, Mohamed, MLK, he asked about what thing we go do, forget the forces, like the military, the police, for be independent so that they nobody they talk, say others from above. Well, <clears throat> if you read me document, I talk about the 10 guiding principles and commitment. One of them are demonstrable leadership and discipline. And I not only stop there, I go further for say, we get forget watchdogs for the judiciary and for democratic institutions. Then watchdogs shall therefore set them up for ensure that they focus on the activities of the police, the mid, sorry, the police, the judiciary, and other democratic institutions. Many of the civil society groups with me and I know that they focus mainly on government. And sometimes, not all of them, but the majority of them, not the focus attention to them here. I'll make it my business as it is in this document that will go for the watchdogs for ensure that not only they report on their activities on a bi monthly basis or that the report on their activities will have to be discussed in cabinet, published, and then actions will be taken. So uh, I just want to let you know that as I mentioned earlier, that for get an economy where you will thrive, for make we reach that level, we will create wealth and jobs, that the investment environment therefore become the toxic politics get for go, violence and the streets get for, get for go, the police get for be professional, and that's the make people get confidence for can invest in the economy. So thank you so very much for raising that. I want to let you know in the document, I already mentioned that, and believe so we will handle that. Um, so Anthony, you make mention, okay, you, you can say, okay, when when you put this idea, if people don't go tap into that. I get a belief, again, as a policy person, that sometimes, you when you get your idea, you the implement them better than somebody just here on a paper I decide for implementer. Two ways to that are this. This are not hide them, I put on the table for every Sierra union. If this current government, for example, take ideas and other implement, then just achieve the thinking in mind that will country for growth before go forward. So 
It's not just mine, it's for all of us. But like the Treasury single account, when we conceive of them, and I'm looking for implementer, trust me, I could have implemented it as president better than it is being implemented. Sometimes, you will conceive the idea, you the implementer more and better than anyone. So, Anthony, can for say thank you. You make mention of social housing, but we to take that into consideration. But that will happen honestly when the economy boom beyond the levels. We will not recover. The economy will not recover. We will not reach a point to sell things to say we will do social housing. But for now, we will go for this level of housing for people that way they will, for people that way will contribute to the economy. Because if we start at that level, we will not be able. Well, thank you so much for raising that and we'll take our move forward. Barriers from Holland. I understand when cost insurance and freight high, they come customs and customs and duty high, they're not too good, especially for you with the import. Well, I want to tell when I say, as President Kromai and government being set out, we're going to try to expand the ports. We we'll go for port expansion. So we we'll become a transshipment hub in West Africa. Make we not forget that the port will we get that the second deepest in the world, natural harbor in the world. But we we'll get opportunity for expand the scope of this port. So we we'll become a transshipment center. In history, them they call Sierra Leone the water in place. Now how many ships in the north from the west they come, them path the water and then go down at the Indian Ocean, down to South Africa and round going at the Indian Ocean. If we expand this port, we will become a transshipment center. But waiting to make it attractive as far as port management concerned is when the duty and the charges and they low. Me and Una know just like the gateway, when the cost they down, people, the volume of call, they increase government, they make more money. Not just cost, not just the ports. When I know that it's very tough and difficult for travel to Sierra Leone as far as cost concerned. It is costing more for travel now by air than elsewhere because we're landing, we're landing charges very high, including other associated charges to, to air travels. So as president, we're going to review that because we want to become a, you know, a, a very serious destination for investment like I say, we want to set the bar and beat many economies in the region so we become attra attractive to foreign direct investors. You will achieve that when you manage and bring down the cost of air travel through the taxes where they charge. In addition, you also get to take a look at the port and ensure that you knock down some of the, 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 the charges as far as duty and other things are concerned so that it will cost the alien at the less, less for import. When you do that, we import volume, they grow. And when the import volume grow, government, they make more money. I don't think people know that. So that now some of the things that we'll get for do. Uh, again, you make mention of mineral export. You know, one of the biggest problems we get in the economy and I discovered this now. I've been there as chief of staff and state house. Nigga, nigga. You know that we'll not get too many, we'll not get too many experts in many of the sectors. You ask yourself, where are the iron ore experts? Sometimes, not just for know the volume of what you the export, but not for understand the grade and the pricing. But when you not get experts for able to do that, now very major, major challenge. Reason why we're going to build on the geology capacity. Let me say we're going to create possibility frontiers for young people and leverage the skills development fund so that we will get the right set of experts in the economy. I'll be an example, the last time we get an open and frank conversation like this, we need to forget fisheries experts, we need to forget marine biologists, we need to forget experts where they understand the grade of minerals so that when terrorists will negotiate, we will negotiate well. A good example, as chief of staff in our state house, we decide for me to review plenty of mining this agreement. The question was, if you get for the negotiate, where will you get the experts? Where the Sierra Leoneans are? 
then we realize that there is a gap. That was why we established the Skills Development Fund. Another function now has to be set out with the thinking and mindset to be get. But with me as president, trust me, now one of the things that we get for leverage, because if you want to create wealth, you get for ensure that you link human resources to natural resources. Then you do so by investing, most importantly, in the development of the human capital as far as skills and expertise is concerned. So we take that into consideration for ensure that not only we understand the volume of export, but to some extent for begin the way to refer to as beneficiation. Beneficiation means for add value to the mineral before you export so that you will get more money. Like green steel, you take iron ore, you use hydro or use solar power for process the steel and export them, although not a capital intensive, but there are no possibility frontiers where you can embark upon it too. So my thought process is that we need for invest in skills development. The last thing we are engaged in, I talk about this. I said, would they, would they explore for oil and gas? But where are the experts, the hydraulic engineers? Where did the engineers we get at the up, middle, and downstream of this particular sector? Institutions that anticipate enough for, 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 for build skills of young people in these areas. And some of them things that we get for do as far as preparing the younger generation concerned for meeting the challenges of the economy. So I want to say thank you to Mr. Parios. We just sharpened the strategy along that line. To Hassan na, na Germany, you talk about policies, you say, waiting at the specific policies that put for achieve the strategy I put forward, I think are very clear as to how to go about them. I will encourage you, please, make it take your time and read them. If you read them, it tells you exactly how I want to go about them. In fact, when you take a look at finance, under finance and the economy, I dedicate a very, very, very long narrative about them as to what you will do from development financing to innovative financing to sovereign credit rating to many, many initiatives who will put together for ensure that we meet the levels of growth. But I lay emphasis on domestic revenue mobilization especially ensuring that we automate all of that for reduce human contact and human interference into domestic revenue mobilization. And I, I remind you now, say, when I've been there as Minister of Finance to set up a revenue task force. But going forward, we go for grow revenue. And for grow revenue means that we go for be innovative and somewhat aggressive. I give you now some examples. One, when I've been there as Minister of Finance, who set up a special tax regime, a special hall for look at minerals receipt, extractive receipt. One thing will not touch it, not the telecommunications. And the revenue we government they make in telecoms, in, in a way, sometimes equal or surpass mining. So we get specialized areas that we need for being experts we be able to do some audit and ensure that government up in game in some of their areas and they as far as taxation concerned. If you take a look at my document, I make and clear say one of the ways we will care for go about this and for up game in revenue mobilization. And I really clear in my mind how for go about that. I very clear in my mind how we set up the sub credit rating. And I very clear in my mind how we do the stock exchange. I share with you now, say the stock exchange is very, very important to the economic development growth potential because there is a major possibility frontier for access finance. We get plenty of government owned companies. We can get the stock exchange, is stock somewhere in the central bank. I say no law, I'm moving from the central bank. We we'll get a whole building at Sheka Stevens Street. We we'll try to get three government companies for the list, listed and begin for engage the West African, um, uh, the West African um, counterpart for ensure that they link together. Now, so you did create wealth, now so you did create possibility frontiers. I even talk about a merchant bank with a support trade. I go to the extent, so I make mention that the National Development Bank with the fund that will go resuscitate them into Bank of Agriculture and Industry. Because don't forget, 
the commercial banks not be able to fund major development programs as far as agriculture concerned, because it's capital intensive, especially if you want to do machinery and irrigation. That is why we set up that bank. And as Minister of Finance, we will now start to talk with the African Development Bank and say, okay, we can come in to partner, but not make government tamper with this. But then we'll be very busy for save the Sierra Leone Commercial Bank and the local commercial bank. Of course, we save both banks and today they all they do well. Now, some of the things that this year for do for creating an enabling environment and the possibility from Tiaza can always make mention for lift this economy from outside going forward. We get for be innovative, in order for be business as usual, we get for be very aggressive, but again strategic about that. So waiting a put here, I strongly believe, we start the game of uplifting this country going forward. No doubt, no mistake. If we do them well, not so magic. Trust me, when the country come and investors and begin come, the opportunities where will come, it will be overwhelming. Now that are the hope for law we achieve. I also say thanks a lot, Hassan. We make mention of nationalizing some of the assets there. Well, you know who nationalize all the assets? We we'll we'll, we'll get to, to call government for the interventionist in some of the sectors then for save and for create wealth and for create opportunities. We will do that, but no go for full blown nationalization. So I want to say a big thank you to now all for that. Political question, Kelso, head of Big Six. No, Big Six no get head. <laughs> but tonight, I want to take this opportunity for explain to now the ancestry of 14 people referred to as Big Six. You know, when we lost election 2018, Every Sierra Leonean, or well not every Sierra Leonean, will party people and say, they want to make the APC form a flag bearers come together. Do Tamai Cable meet the person at the background of the music? Yeah, uh, doctor, please um, unmute yourself. Hmm? The sound? Okay. Now, don't be at the top of the tracker. Okay. Yeah. Doc, anyway, honestly, I appreciate you want to answer this question about the big things. But I as you know, we main focus today here. The last one I want to give you food for thought we for take home. Okay, for take no, home. but let respond. It's very important. Yeah, I know, I know very much. Yeah. Okay. Can huh? no. you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I don't get I don't get the headline. Are they calm? Are they calm? Now answer you. No, 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 are they come? Are they come? Make an answer, Kenzo. Do they get me? Okay. Listen. Everybody they say let the flag bearer aspirants and come together. Me, Kelfala Mara, get meeting with the party leadership in 2020. I get meeting with Payan Sane. They tell me they are alive. A party office. I say, when I make law come together, when I create an enabling platform, I say, because if we go to convention for 2023, the level of friendship they amongst me, we don't understand myself. If we go to that convention, the peace and harmony amongst us we don't understand myself, the competition healthy. If we elect one person by acclamation, the party they come together. The whole country will not say we don't win. The truth is that not happen. So amongst yourself, we say, okay, let's start meeting. We we'll begin for a bit. I think Kelso or anyone with a listener on our one day see say, Payan Sane, Paulo, everybody will eat cassada leaf together. Yep. That was the spirit. A fine follow come together and understand yourself. If you watch one video, we I make mention, I'm sure it is around our social media and our shaka. I say this are big ships. They don't expand. Today we're around 10 or so. We ask everybody for come together. Me, Kelfala Mara, the book Kabbalah, 
We call it in the call me so they can drink our milk and honey. This person is muting in your level, not listen to a music. It is pure goodness. So make we go and they bring the honey and cow milk. Doctor, so, please unmute yourself. I don't unmute. So now that we they expect for do. We begin for meat. We meet by Ansane and the deputy leader, Tana Pamin Kailo, who explains him that is, this is what we are doing for creative platform law begin to amongst ourselves. Law build bridges, law come together as a team. So if I'm possible, it's very easy for law or campaign. We will meet former President Roma, who was leader and chairman then, before the court rule. We did everything. In fact, to not only do that, we put together what we call roadmap to 2023. Now, myself present that roadmap 2023 now, McKinney. How we work as an effective opposition. How now the diaspora will join me for me to get IT room. What we will do for ensure that we train an army of young people for example, all the by elections where they take place, the one that they serve as polling agent to forget a directory of them, train and retrain them, so that by the time they come to 2023 elections, more than half of the polling agent will have been trained effectively and they will do their job. Make today as I you know as an opposition for put together a strategic document for ensure that we will challenge the government party. These were the ideas we put forward. If the UN Senate team will come in and help. Now, Payan Sane said, I call I say big six. Label and paint and bad. That was wrong. Because he was high commissioner in Ghana, and he believes in Ghana, they may get a group, politicians may get a group for them called big six. Because the current president of Ghana in that even belonged to the big six. That was the label he put on the group. And we'll not fall for that, really. Oh, this person, so, I know the meat is happy. They make noise. Now, 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 who's that doctor? They, now, they, now, they area. I'm sorry, now, they, now, they, now, all right. Now, they, they play loud music in the area. Like, yeah, you know. the right. neighborhood. Now, the neighborhood. Yeah. I don't send for me, then, then, then turn down the phone. Martino, don't do that now. Okay, thank you. We win by elections. If you talk about Porto Porto. Then the challenge we want for Bonu Motokado to win by elections, deal party offices, do everything for this party. Then somebody say, oh, a big six, that was wrong. That divisive tendency is not going to help this party. A fine for law stay together. And today they help we. I'm sure when I see one press release today from we all, that was the spirit we had wanted to be nurtured. What do you see so today? Where we say that for stock money cost. Now, know when we say that? At a meeting with religious leaders more than six months ago, this is what we're gonna do. You want for win election? Now, Mami cost, if you take win election, you desecrate the party. Is that his leadership? Is that what you wanna do? Really? We say, no, no, stop that. Now, only now the party do. Now, we will come together. What will be start trading the yield fruit? That is why we are together. That is why the leaders now they come for support. It's very easy for me to all come together. That is why I'm going to see that press release. Certainly. And I tell people this every day. We get a country like we. I tell you now about the land issues where we get the first institution of our learning, how fall back. The maximum security, as you now we study law, no, the greatest security, so I don't get our force. First printing threat, free town, the first municipality on the continent of Africa. But what do we end up for do? When we fight to rebel war, we fight and we different. We chop people their hands off, rip up in Bele Woman in Bele, put people in the houses, set our light. That not happen anywhere. So when you want for lead, you get for new history and find ways and means for ensure that you create an environment where we make now move forward. I want to know this. 
amongst the aspirants, and nobody not the only one for let this party go back. That is why today the leadership not be able to sit down for come up with a press release like that, a press statement like that. So Kelso, I want to let you know and to the rest of the listeners, and the one that we will take this word go, and thank God it's been streamed alive, live. I want to let you know that no, the big six not to that even there for. We not even get a name. We say it has no name. Now by answer label, I say big six. No good. That not the help heal the party. I want to say thank you to all now for the questions. And I do look forward for a few more, especially on the ideas front, for see what we could do for help the diaspora position in this economy. So thank over you to very, Mr. Moderator. Yeah, thank you very much, Doc. Um, you really, you, you don't do well. Um, Hello, um, brothers and sisters, then, as when I don't hear it, um, we don't get much time, but we still get some people hold their hands, then they up. What I want to do now is now for call a set of people then. Please Hello, let me speak that? To, uh, who is that? Okay. Hello. Let me stick to the two two minutes. Even me say I don't get much for talk now, but now just call in him here. Let them get themselves ready as at my line, please. The first person waiting, I'm in list now now. iPhone Lady Carter. And then the next person wait for talk after iPhone Lady Carter, now Mr. Francis Moore. And then we'll <laughs> get Miss. Do Mary Daniel, I hope I pronounce and well. And then we we'll get Mr. Abdul Sisi, and then Miss Yeno Turi Kosia. And then Doc we will respond. So please let me start with um, Miss iPhone Lady Carter. So sorry, Mr. Monitor, for interrupts. You yeah. don't mention my name. My name is Miami Dondeo. This is Komodi Galo from Sweden. I'm very sexy. Okay, uh, wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait, sorry about that. So you say you need, I, I still get more people in at the list. I will add the name now, please. If you get time, let them people also talk. Is that okay, please? Yeah, okay, it's okay. It's okay, bro. okay so what, what's your name again? When I come with Igal, I'm going sexy for APC Student Branch and aspiring candidate for the Aspire Young Congress. Yeah, legal, yeah, yeah, legal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, legal. Okay, then sorry about that, please. I don't add the name, yeah. It's okay. okay then. So let me start with um Miss iPhone Lady Carter. Is there any way? Now on mute, on mute, please. Um, Lady oh. Carter, please on mute. Yeah, on, okay. yeah, on mute. Yeah. Right. Okay, Mr. Mojus, thank you very much. Um, Mina Kathy Hona, you know, I'm calling from Hertfordshire. You know, I want to say thanks to um, Dr. Mara for such an inspiring vision of, you know, of, of giving an overview of in leadership um, for Sierra Leone. You know, and it's very clear from Dr. Mara in speech that he's coming, he's got a very strong financial background, you know, and that was that really, it, it, it thread through everything it is saying. But from my perspective, talking from a public health, because I'm a public health specialist, you know, talking from that perspective, I not see anything where Dr. Mara talk where relating to health and well-being in the country, because the health sector in Sierra Leone is rotten, you know. And my apologies, I not read Dr. Mara in manifesto yet, so probably I'm sure he has captured about the health, you know, um, of the country and, you know, and all of that, but I have not seen that. I've just listened listen to an overview tonight. So I just tried to comment on that. My one of my two of my questions, I've got two questions for Dr. Mara. One of them is um, as the prospective candidate for you know um the, the big the big job in the country, you know, how would it ensure that um, the health sector is completely modernized? Because as it is at the moment, the health sector in Sierra Leone. It's like 17th century. It's a shame that people then we want to get treatment, they have to fly out to the country. That's if you have the money. If you haven't got to come in, then it's rest in peace for you. You know, and also drugs that have been imported in the country, there's a huge flood of um, fake drugs then where they you know they help people, they try to kill them. How's gonna ensure that there is that there's a very clear scrutiny system in place to monitor the effectiveness of the health sector. Then I one question. 
the folk forum. The other aspect where I want to talk about is about children, you know, and young people in that country. There's a huge vulnerabilities in that country yeah. looking at rape, looking at um, children not achieving. There's a huge issue about drugs, you know, among our young people, you know, and some of the, the videos you see on TikTok and all of this social platform is quite sickening, you know, for see how our young people, you know, then they, then they destroy their lives. And these are our future, you know, um, citizens for tomorrow. So I wanna know, what now, Dr. Mara, in strategy and in plans to look at those one aspect in relation to the health sector, how it's going to try to re, you know, uh, revamp that to 21st century health? And secondly, what is it going to do to safeguard the health and well being of young people and vulnerable people in that country? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Miss Lady um, iPhone Lady Carter. The next person, um, and um, I know she don't make two. You don't ask too I think you're on mute, Mr. Yeah. Modwe, so I couldn't hear you. Oh. Hello? Yeah, can they, you hear me now? yeah, we can hear you, yeah. We can hear you, yeah. No, no, I was yeah. just thanking you for your contribution and the questions you've asked. You're still on mute, I can't hear you. Oh. Yeah, but can you hear me, Lady Kata? Hello? I can hear you. Can you, can you hear my colleague? I am I'm actually still. on... on I am on mute. Yes, happening. we can. We can hear, we you. can hear you. So I think we're fine. Okay. Okay. So anyway, let's proceed. I, I, I was just thanking you and then for your contributions and the two important questions you've asked. I still can't hear you at all. I don't know what's going on there. Taba, is there any problem with the... Do no, I need no some? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, can... it's on our own side. On our, no, yeah, our own I think side. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, you need to unmute yourself. I think she needs to unmute herself. Yeah, I've, I've sent her. I've sent her text. Really. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Continue. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Then good. So um yeah, let me bring on the next person now. When uh, um Mr. Francis Moore. Please, let me try for limit this to, to two minutes and then just get to the point. Yeah, yeah. first it's more Delaware, Ohio, United States. And uh, I got two questions. Uh, one, they go for Doc, and uh, the other one, they go for Doc and the general public. Everybody within the IR or anybody that will me. Did you get me? Everybody get me, right? All right. So uh, one question I get with you to go directly to Doc is that uh, I know say, uh, we all know the agricultural sector, the way they go right now. We know food security is a paramount to every nation as well. And uh, with not the mechanism way dog get in place, probably dog don't involve into the, the, the new agenda, but what I have to know is with not the mechanism for the young people for involved into agriculture, especially diaspora. Let's say example, are there around for investing in agriculture at the 25, 30, dollars It's not a big money, but 25, 30, $30,000. With not the mechanism way go there, you say, okay, well, hey, one, let this, this, is the, this is the blueprint here. When you have your money, to come and invest into agriculture. There's not going to be too many bureaucracies. There's not going to be too many difficulties for making Listen, food. Don't between my leg. <laughs> Just one leg. <laughs> in, in order to make a place for making, making, you, making you invest your money into agriculture. So I want to know if any make any dog, any plan in place, well, you know, we'll make sure that people go into more, people go into agriculture and then so that we, that the huge sector has a good way, uh, way of, getting revenue for the country and everybody. And another thing again I want to uh, ask again is that uh, we all know politics involves money. If you go to make Doug become the flag bearer you know, of the almighty APC party, I want to know what's not a mechanism, what's not a system in place where any diaspora can inject money into the electionary process, or what's not a system where Doug don't put in place or the organizers of this particular Zoom meeting here, what is the mechanism in place that I wear? If I have my $1, I want to inject into Doc's campaign. What is the process? What is the steps? What is the waste for taking place? Is there any organization set up like USA get a chapter? And as a couple of years ago, we get uh, WhatsApp groups and all those things for Dr. Kefalamara. That particular group is very inactive right now. Past two people in the post once in a while. But I'm for not a mechanism we're not put in place if uh, whoever I'm for continue, whoever I'm for donate. With not a process. So that will go for Doc and it will go for everybody in the group as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Moore. Thank you. I appreciate that um, for you um, point that we don't make. Um, then we can move on, on to, I hope I pronounce his name properly, but now Dumeri Daniel. 
do marry Daniel? On mute, please. Miss Daniel? Hello? Hello? You can go to the next person, please. Yeah, because okay. you know one talk. So let me, please. Okay, okay. Um, yes, so the next person on the list here is uh, Mr. Abdul Sisi. Hello. Mr. Mr. Abdul Sisi. Hello. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah please, yeah. if your video is not on, put your video on, let see, please. My video is on. Okay, thank great. You, thank you so much for letting me ask this question. Thank you, Doc, for your initiative. Um, at least we know, say, we they can live and know, say, we get a positive change where you get for make for we. But Doc, there is one thing I want for ask, where I know, say, you no know, notice, or if you notice and say, I not think, say, you mention and by your, your vision. Now we all know it's our problem in Africa. Especially salon, we know say we na I can say we na short term, right? We talk about all the initiative here, but the diaspora, what we for do, what you get for plan for for we, what you don't plan for we, and what you for invest here undertake. But doc, there is a problem, a problem of sustainability in our country. We country lifespan, I can say, give or take, it's not gonna be more than ten years. As political party go, all projects they die. So now the question is, what thing will make we believe, say, this project where we as well, we can invest in, or what in the vision we don't come with for we, we able to do forever, even when, say, you don't left power, other member, other party come, we go, the project will still be live, because that's not like a big issue na the salon. And thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Cisse. Thank you for that point we don't make so. Um, I will call on now uh, Ms. Yeno to recourse here for let's give you a contribution and ask a very short question if you can. Okay. On well, a good evening <laughs> from the South Sami Day. Kefala Mara, the United States or oh, Chanoga, Tennessee. Okay, thank you. Yeah, oh, I'll tell you plenty, thank you for everything where you did do and all your steps the way you did take. And one thing was here in you, and I get for commend you, and that is humbleness. I see so much humbleness because if we not get a humble leader, we're not going to ever get a leader where we will lead that nation there. So I see so much humbleness in you, and thank you for that. Continue the good job, yeah. And also, <clears throat> my own question is as we country, they go now. We are facing a lot of situation with tribalism. And without peace in a country, on a nation, we never ever go before. We are always stay behind. But if we country, we get for top, that media line, team media line, local line, what thing you get for do as a president, where you come, where you go stop that, where we all go see we safe as one nation, as one Sierra Leonean. Not divided Sierra Leonean, not mina limba, mina Creo, mina fula, mina this, mina that. But how we go see we safe as a Sierra Leonean? Let we work together, let we build up a country. If you come as a president, what do you get for do for let you change that dimension? For we the people of Sierra Leone. Let me question that. Thank you very much, Miss um, you know, to Kosia for that question that we asked. And I'd also um, expect um, maybe if I understand you very well, tell her that as a diaspora going back to Sierra Leone to invest, that you know we just uh, you meet a diverse and uh, ethnic group there. So, so you look for skill and not for tribe. And you tribe. right, you right, because they are, because sing music that they go out now, whether they sing BD, BD, me, and Yamu, BD, me. That you, you brother, now you brother, a bad self. 
a do bad self that you brought that you for supporter, and that's not a good thing for the preach in our country. And we okay. president, current okay. presidents don't preach, say, or oh, this country we don't divide. And and I'm not gonna blame her for, for saying that because now true it talk. Now people don't go bash at with current presidents say, where he used the word say this country we don't divide long since. Salon okay. be don't divide, not so all the way my uh, president be all day in power, salon don't divide. Salon, okay. we don't divide long since. But we okay, need to put a stop to this. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So in this place, in the place of um, Ms. Dumira Daniels, we're able to talk. I will start Mr. Egalo. Egalo no, I, I will talk now. I'm here. Mm, I do yeah. so, so, we'll have to talk now. Daniel is here now. I can talk. Uh, okay, well, that, okay, well then. Okay, Mr. Egalo, unfortunately, you have to wait. So let's bring in uh, Ms. Daniel now. All right, thank you so much. And, um, you know, I appreciate everyone who participate for listening to this fine gentleman. We really admire so much because of his uh, commitment to making the country better, which some of we don't get the determination, say, we want for come home, we want for kind of impact, but we won't forget the environment, the platform. Um, of course, Dr. Mara in book, when I envision statement, where most people, they coin as manifesto or magazine, you know, so, with different uh, 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 nomenclature within gear. I think there is this issue for we country where I believe, say, Dr. Mara for looking to more. And we're very, very important if the aspirant has to come home. I'm speaking out of experience. You know, I spent uh, almost me part of my life in Ghana that they are trained, you know, medicine, practice medicine, decided to come to the United States, you know, pursue the same uh, 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 dream. But time to time, I don't visit Sierra Leone, try for engage, government, even to the current government, how we can able put things in place for able address. Um, Dr. Mara, now witness, because time to time I've been on the meet with them in person, you know. But the challenges we, we can get, we're not only me, but the uh, way other diaspora they get, we not get the environment. And I'm happy that it tried for put into in documents say, we must create that enabling environment, you know. In fact, the reason why I say we don't get the environment is that where you go, once you don't talk that Creole, they don't know see you in a salon person. Then that person we in not talk the Creole, we come off from Turkey, we come off from Lebanon, we come off from other part of the country is highly placed than you when they try for interact with government. And within difficulty and the more, now when somebody go say, what do you bring for me? I am speaking out of experience because, and Dr. Mara can be a witness to this. I bring an investment through the US government development finance corporation where some of them have been done, they see some document, they move about, you know, where government was issued 107, I mean, where they, they try to finance the, an energy project for Sierra Leone with 176 million, uh, 72, 73 million dollars. Okay, so the difference is, You line the break up, sir. But okay, sorry about that. 
try to develop a project like that, come to meet with government, meet with, meet with the, the current president in his hotel in New York. Had a meeting with him. He said, you just go, because he had had a town hall meeting with us. So some of them robust idea where they can come with the diaspora and say, and this is a question where I go for send to Dr. Mara as well. Then they come with the robust idea. Now we get town hall meeting. When I come down, when I come over, you know, the enabling environment day, we don't take power. You know, when I come, we they give us the opportunity. Okay, we, we fall into them seducive statement then they from both the, gov the current government and we come down, you know, come with partners, you know, write projects so that government of the United States can fund them. Unfortunately, where you go for go do the groundwork, that's where you are frustrated. You come with the partners, the partners are frustrated. So I spent like one year, seven months in the country with, for this project for electrified Rutile from Rutan way down to Rootbury, down to the Eastern of Africa, and went further to forgive the government, the, the entire East End of Africa, 20 million gallons of water per day. And I was so happy that Dr. Marai will capture some of them. Yeah, Mr. Morito, um, yeah. this man don't take more than two minutes. Up to now, yeah, we won't yeah, have no yeah, nothing. Thank, yeah, sorry about that. Thank, okay, yeah, thank I'm sorry. Um, this is it, unfortunate. Anybody where they speak last can always get that probably. So I will stop <laughs> here. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but yeah. thank you very much. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry not, but what I don't need dinner. Yeah, if Dr. I don't Mara, ask me question, I will be upset. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. What that I want to ask Dr. Mara is. Usman will. I don't need that this. I know it's for a long, long time. What I want to ask Dr. Usman, Mara is how Usman, people create Usman, that en 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 enabling the environment thing okay. with the issues yeah, that they know will happen. But, thank you. But do, make I just come to um, uh, Mr. Daniel and thank you very much. So I know so you don't make the point, and Dr. Mara don't take note of that. I just want to be fair to others that with their hands and on the up, and then they still they save their questions and very much or comment them. Or, or, or clarifications they wouldn't want, also value. I thank you very much for the one we don't make, sir. Um, I think at this juncture, I would like to call in Dr. Marale, be able for- hey, Mr. Morito, Mr. Morito, yeah. I mean, we don't come, prior to this man can retire, come with the girl who's still on the line. We call in a job, I came make me questions, maybe, sir. Yeah, yeah, Igalo, yeah, from Sweden, yes. Yeah, yeah. say, well, come in. Well, I don't get Igalo that's actually good. point. Okay, Igalo, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, um, yeah. Yeah, you step mm -hmm. in quickly, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Doc. Doc, very, Doc seems to be very impressive and convincing when once they're making presentations. And they mentioned about the issue of um, developing, maybe probably bring an office of the diaspora and uh, foreign minister if he become president. But um, so, like me, unfortunately, I've been you know, we one of our embassies, them doing an Eskomai regime. And one of the key things I observed now that uh, most of those embassies, then they, 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 they they, they, they chop a lot of government money from Sierra Leone and the effectiveness them very low in terms of input for the country. Yes, creating office for the diaspora and foreign ministry, now one. But I don't want to know if Doc gets any plan for review some of the embassies then they, so that it will reduce cost in order to government as a law. Because okay. if they inject with foreign, if they inject with loans and transform it into foreign currency, it chops a lot of money. It affects it affects the the bill, the bill it the, affects the, the the government bill, and secondly, uh, Mina the PRO for Ministry of Youth Affairs when Dr. Marabi, the Minister of Finance, he mentioned about the youth village doing an interview with the Yard and the Super Medin program, and then um, the survey will be due. Fortunately, uh, Kamala be fortunate for getting a lot for them to establish the youth village, and Doc was the Minister of Finance. There were a lot of challenges in terms of disbursing money for kickstart that particular project. But rather the money will then be sent not just, it just center around administrative cost and the bulk money for the most start the project. And that may actually delay the commencement of the project in Kamala. I remember the land was secured, but there was no foundation established. And they don't mention, say these are key things that we even the push when he was a minister of finance and chief of staff. But then I want I want to know 
if during those days, if not be the too much politics be make, that things they not be materialized. And there are too many ministries, departments, and agencies now governments. And most of those ministries, departments, and agencies, they get overlapping functions where they affect um, line ministries them for implementing them, programs them. For any project to come, then they, then they appoint people for can serve. And the role and the rules and responsibilities of the civil servant, then they become redundant. So you go to those offices, most of the civil servant they sit down, they know they do nothing. But there are projects and where they go on, but yes, still, you just see the effectiveness of it take place. How Dr. Okay. Maragwebu come in, yeah, if he become president, how he will look into all those things, if he will able to get that timely for effectiveness, effectively review some of those ministries, departments, and agencies. And okay. he mentioned about and he mentioned about the yeah. issue of um, diaspora yeah. investing into Sierra Leone. One of the key things we believe a doctor for, for focus on now the issue of sustainable electricity and water supply. Until we get those things done, it will be extremely difficult for low the diaspora and go for go invest. Otherwise, the elephant projects again for the continue and the country. So these are some of the yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Egalo. To be honest, at this point, I'm going for bringing Doc now because we don't get a whole lot of uh, comments then and, and questions then and clarifications then. And I'm still, the one who don't even get opportunity for access, when I know Luzop, I still get um, time now and I get a list as well where I will call people. And please, please, please be patient. Doc? Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, the last one will be taken at terms, all right? Yeah, the last one. Now, um, the big issue about the big six. Uh, yeah, that's not the last one. Yeah, no, the last one I eagle. Yeah, okay. 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 Um, this is now Francis Moore from Delaware, right? Ohio. We talk about young people in the diaspora and how they go invest in the economy, correct? In agriculture, I guess yes, I'm right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir. I get it right, yes, okay. sir. yes, sir. Yeah, well, um, I want to say this. We, if you read the document, unfortunately, as soon as they raise their questions, I think to say, um, plenty of people in review not going to read the document. I wish we had to for read them. Um, one of the things that we can for do as it is here, and for ensure that we create an every environment for agriculture. Key among them and for ensure that the major agricultural lands will be get we get opportunity for take we out of these food challenges will be get. Put them clearly now. Take Toma Boy. Take one of me, take one of my Mila, and take the others. One way you go about them, honestly, now for chat them into major agricultural land. Plus, you take Toma Bomi's free time to three or four, do your study. For each of them, plots that day, you forget investment incentives, get the soil profile, get everything. Whether the first three years of investment and zero tax that you pay, the kind of technical expert they will bring, where are the experts they will be, and you link them uh, with the training institution or agricultural colleges, whether they will open way for making young people come for country, or whether at the end of the day, they will be able to bring in their machinery free. When you do that, you get five, six, seven, eight agricultural areas. It's very easy for many people to come and invest because it will be one stop shop. The other thing we tied to that, as you mentioned, that the diaspora, that is why for me, we got for the diaspora at the four. You get some people that the diaspora, for example, they will get $20,000 to save one for time investing in agriculture. Well, you not just get for the Toma bonds and the others, but you get other opportunities, other incentives to government will put in place, we will attract them, we will attract them. For the first. So, now, so in the view, we have for take up. Because we get eight irrigation sites for rice. Trust me, all the sites that they sleep today, we have for take them forward. Unfortunately, people ask questions, and I think to see they're not productive with this. 
I can encourage you to put it on. We will be there. We will not be for help. Take the rubber plantation to the Ghana South, one of 1970 plantation. They don't function today. If you get two, three, four diaspora, we will come together for invest. Well, you get for creating a green environment. You get for the Ministry of Agriculture, the Extension Services, where they will do the nursery. I'm sure if two, three people partner and come together and give you invest in it, with the kind of we will get, I'm sure people will create other funds, other opportunities. Which I want for encourage Sierraians. Now, for move out of the current state of thinking, we go for be innovative, we go for be daring, and do things we knew. We will bring him wealth and will create jobs. In order for continue for go down the same old path, that is why I say we go for build on the legacy of President Roma because he do extremely well in the area of private sector development. Something today. We in production capacity for oil palm about 60,000 metric tons. Then the export 30, the 30 stay in country. The 30 in the export and the exporter in the form of nobles. We they will get cooking oil, they will get water, they will get candle, they will get soap of virus. So with the ideas they are, and you ask yourself, if you get three or four things. It will go a long way for helping. The diaspora and small more they can say that they invest directly in agriculture. They can invest in the value chain, in marketing, and other areas. I give an example. We therefore created what they call the Cash Crop Growing Council. They want where they, where they grow cash crop. So, long, so long, say, we have six, seven people or eight, where they grow cash in the country of huge, huge, you know, huge volumes. But they don't ever come together. So bring them around the table, give them that time to make us. They will know the total acreage and the volume so they will produce in the next three, four years. They get for us to sell. You just get for export and all. No. So we need for set up a processing plant. These are some of the areas we will attract, you know, um, the diaspora for invest, for ensure that we improve our value chain. In no case for big business as usual, we go for the innovative, more innovative. That is why I will open this conversation to her, so that we all go learn. It's not just me, but we all go learn together and say, well, okay, from what you hear it from, dog, and I don't need this thing. If you wins, maybe these are the kind of things we get for put forward for ensure that we move forward. So I take your point. You know, a, a very, very important, and I want to say thank you for that. Um, now you, Francis Moore, now you talk about contributions for somebody. And I mean, let me talk, yes, sir. Well, for me, that actually be open to the team. And I know people been there one before, and I strongly believe that um, some people, they still want. We got some people at this forum where they do want. I think what they need for going for open up. I reach out to the same people who have been able to win and see how they will support the initiative. Elections are not cheap. They are tough. They are difficult. As it happened in the case of Obama and elsewhere, even the dollar, when they come together, can go a long way for push campaigns. So uh, I'd encourage them for making them do that. Um, at the Kanto at UCSA, we talk about sustainability of programs. Not also, Mr. Sise, if you take a look at my document, I'm conscious of this, and I say for improve the neighboring environment and sustainability. Yeah, they get you. And for bring on board peace and unity within the country, and to put in place what they call governance, government, government transition protocol. The government transition protocol, I think we we'll put in place for ensure that we agree how the transition how one government the transition to the other. We we'll therefore be very clear on that. In fact, we we'll work on the draft right now. We then therefore sit around the table. So we know in agriculture, what is between the previous government, among them projects and which one important and why they think it's important, how far the long road funding, the challenges, the opportunities, so that the incoming government will act. You just, you just can't wake up one morning, 
come out to the center of the government. He put X on everything where the orders are done. You know, look that way. Now, in addition to the government transition protocol, we put in place. I have a question. So put in place. Who is that? Transparency Sierra Leone, an online tool, a platform over for good for track every project and every program. I give you an example. If you're a high commissioner to the UK, like I say, and we agree, say, we get for bring five or six or seven major investors into this country, that, that is a contract we get for them online. Well, whether it's in London or in Nigeria, they track the performance of that particular ambassador. So, you know, for example, this is October in the year 2023. You only get November, December, but this ambassador don't only bring in two investors. Well, by November to early December, that ambassador will be packing back for both. Because trust me, if you know me, you, you, if you know me to target to the goal, this not to buy or buy your thing, you don't for to wait it right for long to go forward. Can I ask so a question? That's yeah, that's hold on, you, you, you will soon be. Hold on, hold on, please. So the government transition protocol. Plus transparency, so yeah, you really track our activities to go a long way for ensure that um, I get the sustainability. Sustainability. The sustainability. sustainability. Now you're not Kosia to Nigga, uh, I said, can I ask a question? Yeah, you would please just hold on. So I want to say thank you for for your generous comments. We talk about tribalism. Shut up. Let me and speak. What you will therefore do for ensure that um, we manage that. Well, me very clear. Hey, I said one of the first things. To to yeah, we want to ask question two. Can you just hold Listen. on, please? Now the post is gone. It's gone. It's gone. Speaking, don't worry. Then you have the opportunity to ask questions. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm taking care of that. Don't worry. Okay, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in my document, I say, in my document, I say, one of the first things, one of the first conditions for ensure that to move the country forward, and for don't do something, some call the halala, and for create a level playing field, and create what they call inclusive governance. You know me, excuse me, me grow up credit on, my parents then come out when I go to Falaba, I grow up credit. When they play football, I camp on my Zaru field. Something, the one with a Batman and half cast, the one with the play nine and Lebanese, the other one are from Gambia, the other player are from Senegal, the other one are from Mali. So we will grow up with that. You see, everybody as Sierra as one. That is what we have to do. When you begin segregate, it's like sitting on one hand and pretending to walk with one. Not possible. You go for free both hands for ensure that you take the country forward. And I say, we get for go for demonstrating leadership, and I get for it by example. There are many things we get for doing to social fabric. That is why, if you take a look at the document, I said we go for social reform agenda. Pakaba says Saloma get by that. President Koma responded so we need attitudinal and behavioral change. A brilliant idea that for support that we we'll come to social reform agenda. And I will talk about that social reform agenda way at the, at, at the response to uh, this possible way ask about help. Yes. So for me, these are some of the things and way we need for you. If we don't bring this country together, we can't move forward. So the due assurance is say, I know the fabric of this country, I know what it takes for long, move forward. And then days I tell people, say, even when they bond the party office with a bill that time, I know the police are not complaining about it. Why? Because so the sacrifices that, that we need for me to come together and move forward. If you not be the fed, fed, parenting, and they no good. And not be aware, if some person could not be in the 60s, it don't continue. You therefore draw a line between what will not happen and going forward. And me as a leader, therefore, create in the barrel. So thank you so very much for that. I want to come to to Daniel. And Lady Carter, and then two ask questions about the health sector, sir. So perhaps you can just combine that together. Not, um, oh, I think, I think, 
I think we make a mistake. Yeah, now lady. Now, uh, now, now lady force are for all. Yes, now force yes. us. Are they coming yes. to and, to her. and then, and then, you know, and then Mr. Daniel, now then two ask questions in relation to health sector and sector issues. Are they come? Are they come? So, Lady Kata, you right? But I think you know read me document. Sorry, I thought I was uh, unmuted. Sorry. If, if if you read me, if you if you really read them, it will for help me and you to so understand yourself. I conscious say the health infrastructure poor. I conscious say many many things, not many things on the road. We talk about fake drugs. That is true. But institutions are not efficient. Huh? Yeah. We're little institutions yeah, 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 not too good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. one of the things we have to do is for create an yeah, 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 environment yeah, yeah. for the institution so that yeah, the yeah, people yeah, carry yeah. out their activities. Huh? If we don't do that, then the, some of the institutions uh -huh. and the sectors will not work. Uh -huh. Like the uh -huh. pharmacy board, uh -huh. some moderators, uh -huh. some people stop now the background. Samba, uh -huh. if you able to take care of this person in the background, please. I don't take care of it, don't worry. Okay. okay. I'm very active here. Yeah, okay. You not know, say we get institutions or agencies where responsible for regulation. Like the factory, you know, regulatory agency. You know they do well for regulating them, factory them. Even the standard bureau not as efficient. You turn around, you take a look at the pharmacy, but not will be as efficient as maybe they expect them for being. So it is not just some of the big ticket items we will discuss about the economy, but the human resource and the institutional capacity not really there, including the systemic work over the years. So we get for work on the agencies, and but we can't do them alone. That is why I the lay emphasis on professional volunteering. We get Dr. Dumere Wade on the do that now several years. I see the one seminars or so across the country where he can. And I see some other health experts that will do the same. That is why the diaspora are relevant to the transformation trajectory. So we not get a lot of a lot of things for you. The example I will give now is for me to address water. I'm sure um, last speaker make mention. Egal will make mention of water and energy. We therefore address water. But one of the ways I want to go about that. Now a conference like put me on and get so now I get for that. Where are water engineers across the world? Are they in ILO? Are they in the UN? Where are they? We need for sit around the table and get serious conversation about water and see how we we'll do that. Now, we'll get river we we'll use. How big will we go about them? How we we'll get the major artery and the smaller ones so that we'll be able to handle water, and water challenges in the country. Of course, energy are very clear about that. It's in the document I wish you could read that. That will go for clean energy. But most importantly, we get Obuna 2 project to now take off it. Therefore, make sure we work on Obuna 2 so that it will, it will expand with energy base. And at the end of the day, we will for complement that with solar as well as a good number of the hydro potential will get across the country. So it is here. I not discuss them, but it is in the document and I hope we go with that. So coming back to the to lady, we get the third day as chief of staff. We get 1,270 for peripheral health centers. We're going to try to improve the BEMOS, the referral facilities, the, 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 the movement of the free healthcare from the city to the district and to the communities. Those are the things we are doing for lost government. And then another government town is a free education. So that takes me to the CCC. How you will sustain what you don't get if it is government change? That is why I say we don't forget the government transition protocol and transparency service. So I need to just talk about ideas for saying that this will be good. How we will run, how we will sustain them, how we will make sure Sierra Leoneans then self aware, then self participate in the monitoring and the tools and strategies and mechanisms are put that this document. Nobody knows write this. Now, after lengthy consultations, Sidon and sector experts go around the country. Now, that enabled me to put this together, drawing on my past experiences. So, yes, sanitation is a problem. We know the health experts, 
That is why we are the SDF, the Skills Development Fund. When I've been there as Chief of Staff, when we get meeting with the Ministry of Health for discuss the free healthcare initiative, I begin ask, where are the pediatricians? Who did begin doctor them? Then then I think I want to get, really. So where the dentist them? Where the eye specialist? Where the bone specialist them? And very few in the country. That is why we put the skills development to come together for train the army of young people in the health sector so that they can support this initiative. But when they stop there, we therefore create partnerships with health facilities out of the economy so that they can come and invest in the in this. Government will no more be able. Whether you put health insurance together, no more be able. Because the cost of infrastructure for health it can be intensive. Sometimes, even when you get the infrastructure, you can forget the enabling capacity for people to build on it. When we get Ebola, the Chinese then present to me labs them, hitting a level three labs. From then to then, then level three labs during Ebola, it's more than five, six years. We need to build on their capacity. These are the challenges we confronted with. Reason why they say, we can forget a holistic strategy for health. A, health infrastructure. B, referral capacity. C, human resource. E, enabling environment. And F, partnerships. That is where you come, either as health volunteer or come in as experts for ensure that we build the health sector. So it completely devastating, I know that. But if Ghana's of this world don't move on, we will get, we get, we will get opportunity for land from them. But waiting, we don't observe and what we don't put in place. If we will implement and implement and trust me, within four or five years, we will be take the health sector to levels where it will be appreciated. I think what we've done do so far, have to put a strategy in place. It's very important. Do diagnosis of, 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 of the sector. What do we for being on our I will go further for tell you, say, one of the ways we will get for you for ensure that we put this and through the social reform agenda, where if, for example, the Qatar, you come in, you know, Minister of, of, Health and, uh, of Health and Sanitation, or your Deputy Minister responsible for hygiene and sanitation, they get for make sure we scale back malaria, you know, malaria incidents in the country. How you do that by improving environmental hygiene? Because we get 2.2 out, you know, of patient malaria cases every year, backed by typhoid. How do you scale that back? Well, we therefore introduce a strong hygiene and sanitation strategy within the country. That is why I say the local government will therefore empower them for doing what they do. Now, the responsibility for manage city hygiene, city sanitation, city schools, and city health facilities. So we therefore build in capacity. But how do we go about that natural partnership again? Like Freetown, they already get partnership before. You bring partnership, for example, or twin in arrangement between the city of Bo and another city outside. For ensure that they take expert, bring them inside the economy for address housing, for address town planning, for address cleaning of the city, for address cleaning of the market, even with cemeteries. We're not even able to take care of the cemeteries. Reason why I say which are they propose a holistic change mechanism, a holistic change package. If you read that, you will get my ideas. It is holistic, it is tough, it is difficult. But that is what we have to do. Not to magic for the one that they inside and day, or my fully within a short period, they do well this well for, for Tanzania. No, my commitment of our people. So a fine women when they get this conversation, that are they share some of them thing with Una. Hopefully, when we get that mantle of responsibility, I wouldn't be doing this alone. And I may not ask me, Tim, Tim Marase. I want to make them prepare a compendium and directory of Sierra Leonean experts and diaspora in various sectors. When we get that, it will go a long way for help with for address the human resource capacity challenges. So these are some of the ideas I believe we will do. We talk about drugs. That is true. In fact, call on the push generation, the rape issues, you know, 
and sexual violent challenges there all day. Reason why I say the work of the police will go for taking into serious consideration. As you talk about this sector, we so care about um, iPhone lady. It is that we get a tool they put in place, what they call the gender portal. The gender portal, they go a long way for help we on the rape issues, they help we on the ideal issues, they help we on everything we get for these women. Access to credit, access to land, and many others. This now two way go enable you then at the diaspora, you assess government performance and all entire government don't put together said on the group on biannual basis. So that at the end of the two years, when women they assess government in performance on things we get for those anti rape actions, we get for those sexually, uh, violence, and drug abuse, and so on, the report of their assessment that they will be made public and discussed and to be taken forward. People they say, Marai, they go this far. I say, yes, if we don't go this far, we they fix this country. Therefore, be serious about that. So, as I the roll out and go on, when I begin to realize the enormity of the challenges we have confronted with, not just institutional failings, but human resource capacity. And this capacity sits within and amongst you. So, if you don't ask me or over and above what Francis Moore said tonight, it is that law begin put together that compendium of Sierra and experts in the various fields, so that tomorrow, instead of it being head on, you already get a direct way to follow for say, these are the experts in water, these are the experts that will get in health. And we will say health is so broad, it's so diverse that nobody knows at the end. So I hope um, Lady um, address the concerns. I think to say another way they would want for both. Good, Doc. I, um, I will not do it. I think I got for go to, to, to Daniel. I don't talk about health. What I go on, Daniel? Now for me, he give me, make we get a wrap up um, conversation on how you and government end. Because one of the things I want, I want, I want to tell you about is after this, when we win, and by the way, if I become flag bearer, I the ask the party for the duties and turn into the party manifesto. But I need forget a think time for begin work on. What you will go do on investment, small, medium, and large scale investment, so that in the day of the diaspora, you go know what it take, what are the incentives, how much you go invest, how you will go about them, if you invest in that category of investment. So that will be worked upon, Mr. Dumera. And they come to Igalo. Yes, Igalo, we we'll go for review funding of foreign embassies. That has to be done. We we'll go for be efficient. You talk hey, about hey, hey, number. I, you, I you, let you call. You, I'll you. You, no, you, you, you. Hello. I will elbow. Hello. Yeah, we get um, I think. I think. I think. Now you talk about number of agencies. It is clearly stated in my document that will come on the review downward the number of ministries, departments, and agencies in the economy. We get for do that for reasons of efficiency. You make mention of water and energy. I just respond to you. What you will do, including roads, if we not fix the infrastructure, we can't move. Um, we get for greater enabling environment. Um, I want to tell you, say, when when it comes to the issue of the youth village, a lot of things happen where possibly you know aware of. The youth village was going to be funded by the Chinese government, and I packaged them food for support, any major initiative of President Goma, that was a package. What we did in the Ministry of Finance, now for create an enabling environment, for ensure that the Chinese then bring their resources for set up the facilities. We've been just get started, but not to be 100% government funded project, have been the Chinese for one. So I take the point here, yes, we go for review, how much should they spend on embassies and, and, and ensure that we trim and down and manage our well. So you say we get too many MDAs, I don't respond to that. And one thing I want to do, apart from cutting them down, now that they set up with transparency, so that we be able to capture and track the performance of their institutions. I tell you now during the presentation, that transparency is alone, they capture everything at the country. 
when I'm in Beach Chief of Staff now, the Commonwealth helped me for set them up. We've been in track 862 projects. You did go online, you click on the map of Sierra Leone, for example, on Tonkolili District, it is a drop down of chiefdoms. You click on the chiefdom, it is a drop down of NGOs, government projects, and development partner funded project. You don't know the stage where it is, who don't invest in them, how far they don't go, whether the project they under threat or not. If we don't do that, we will not move. In order for big business as usual. And everything that they say no new, these are structures I put in place whilst I work with President Goma on that leadership. And I want to thank him that he allow me for do them thing and day. So they are not the function. These are the things we have to reinstate. These are the things we have to work upon and build on them so that it will be easier for Una for Kamba, including Una between them. And if you ask me, I will tell Una this. Una no get forgive up on this country. That may Una they get this conversation. I believe, say, many of the solutions and answers rest with Una. That is why I do hope for maintain and upkeep this kind of relationship, these interactions. As Minister of Finance, I believe they get Every quarter, they get conversation with civil society with a focus on the budget and on finance and, 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 and implementation. Then they challenge me every three months on how they do. If I'm president, I think so we'll get for continuing their conversation. So they will know the mileage we don't cover, the mistakes we don't make, and what we will do for correct their mistakes and they will move forward. Because not only through their interaction, you will learn from the one day, where they contribute to the economy and development more than any other section of society. So I want to know uh, I'm conscious of that and I look forward to that working relationship with Una. Whether it's the APC or not the APC, the development go beyond political boundaries. We get for flat them boundaries and they and begin work as a team. That is what we need, inclusion, as that lady been say. If we not do that, we can move forward. So I'll go good back good. to you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you. Good message, Doc. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, not for waste time. These are the last set of people and now they call with the name. Wow. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> not, not just the last set, though. They are not the name. Okay. I don't call them. I mean, it's I don't okay. be fair with them. They don't accuse me of already of being prejudiced. Um, and then correct yeah, their yeah. rights. We'll go for talk to them. Yeah, we let, let them talk to them. They don't wish yes. they, I mean, they don't spend their time. They don't kind of, we That's appreciate true. that. So the first person I get on the list there are the first set of five people there. Eh? And um, now, uh, Husman William, Husman Willie, sorry, Husman William, sorry about that, Husman William. Then Boise Karimu. Then we we'll get Saravula. Then I get Ibrahim. Mr. Mabuto, no problem. Mr. Ibrahim. Kamara. Kamara Ibrahim. Kamara Ibrahim, sorry about that. Kamara Ibrahim, that is that what is on the list. And the last person, I'm Mr. Tambak Koroma. The, so we, 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 get one, we get one lady when I lower hand. Uh, what's the name? Uh, is it lower hand? The lady lower with hand. the shades? Yeah. I okay. guess for me, the lower make her talk. So me, they go to bed because I work tomorrow. No, you, I'm not going to able to stay anymore. You go talk ladies, ladies first. Don't no, worry. No, ladies do, are priority. Do. Okay, no, I bit. think I need to go to bed now. Hello? No, you know not be raising hand. Me. You know be raising hand, please. No, I raised my hand and I even sent an email. I, I okay. send a text. I say I want okay. to. Okay, okay, please include them. Let okay, come in. Okay, yeah, we're doing that. That big, big, you big, know big, the pressure big, about so. That's so all right. You, Maybe next time. No, we can yeah. start you for be the second speaker now, please. If you just give chance to Osman Will, after him, they will bring you kind inside and followed by Boise Karimu and then and Kamara Ibrahim and then uh, Saravula, please. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. hand as well for Hello. very long time. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, go on. Okay. This is uh, Tushman Will from New Jersey. Yeah, please. Uh, two, two minutes and yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you, at least for the consideration for taking me the question. I mean, going back to Mr. Dr. Kefara Mara in Badra, as he said, I have to be Minister of Finance on the uh, Dr. Honest Koma, right? So when I, during the time, me, I, I, I can show you the audit report then. And from that, it seems like there's a systematic, constant, ongoing problems with Sierra Leone when it comes to the audit report. 
And usually, you know, in any form of organization, when issues they define, they get findings, then then they get recommendation. The next thing we happen is any responsible, whether in a company or whether in a government, they should have, they should have action plans, right? And then action plan here, yeah, then get for be addressed. It no matter if it takes so long, but they get for be addressed and looked over. So my own question for you is if it becomes the president, we have to report them, maybe at least the past five audit report them with action issues that we the need for take. Waiting to be in action, right, around those things and then we will just play a blind eye to them and say we go for try for just continue for exist. Because the idea is to say we want for stimulate revenue. Yes, again. But if we keep on the risk revenue, but we spend with no responsibly as a country, you know, we're not gonna fix the problems. You know, okay. there's one thing to raise, you know, those things. So those are the concerns. Me to me, you can raise revenue, you can bring investment, but if there are no strong policy um uh, in place, if I in a proper uh, what you know, then the, the institution, all the three are so a waste of time. You know, we're not going to hit at the, the, the head, you know. So, that is like as a diaspora, when I look at when I look at them, key things there, and they see no improvement, whether not ABC or whether not so hopefully, and like look like right now, Marabio just find a way for get rid of the auditor general. So when go can wait he go do way so special because I know say in and in be the minister of finance he been get he been get opportunity that term for address the issues then where the audit report get but nothing not be the happen a matter of fact then be the lack behind for provide these audit reports year after year year after year and we cannot put a blind eye to the entire year then we say we serious about fixing the issues with Sierra Leone. Okay. If okay, we are not accountable. Okay. If we are not accountable, right, to ourselves, it's a waste of time. All this okay. is good to talk, but if we don't do these things, it's a waste of time. Thank and you. I know he was thank the minister. So thank that's you. all. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Osman Will, for the comment. Thank you. Do yeah, that bring the down the lady. Yeah. Yeah, let bring in the lady now. And yeah, uh, please, we, yeah. Yeah, please do go on. Uh, um, now, good evening, everyone. Um, Mr. Mara, thank you so much for your speech. I don't listen. Uh, all the talk on around this event, and I listen carefully. But my own concern is that one way me participating or is agriculture and also nature because me come from London and I live now with Sussex, now a small village called Petworth. Pretty alarmed by Europeans, they not so only because of uh. Now nature, I mean, nature and I are learned about them, how they cherish wildlife and there, and also, you know, the little animals that are the cherish that then go animal and call beaver, but of beaver. When they launch this now to the wild, the way then they not celebrate party for when they launch this yeah. animal yes, to the wild. It's amazing. So what it, me want to ask Mr. Mara where he became a president of Sierra Leone. What he go do because a lot of foreign foreign investors the way they come they come from the northern side of Sierra Leone, mean a crank by tribe. So then people out in the can then get timbers the way they cut in that part today. You know they help the nature. You know they help the nature. You know they help the wildlife. It they make the wild animals they all the gold and they left the world and they die die. And the, the nature, the name of Sierra Leone, not a, the name of Africa. The way Europeans then take Africans, now the wildlife, the tigers, then uh, the zebras, all the animals then they are come from this country, and we know the cherish thing they are. We yeah, they allow people you. and they can't destroy this nature. So yeah, what you go do for work with the people then? Eh? What yeah. you go do for work with the people then? Eh? For let them understand how nature importance now with life, how thank we you. go able to take care of nature. For them to destroy nature. Yeah, point by me. Point even for tourism. Made. Yeah, even for tourism. Yeah. Good. That's yeah, why thank point, you. Yeah, I agree. Point well made. You don't make the point. Thank you very much. This is about environmental destructions. Do yeah, let bring in now. Then let bring in the Abraham Kamara to ask a question. Then I come to Boise 
Karim will please. Yes, yes, I'm some of you. Good evening. Uh, good evening to Doc, uh, Dr. Kelfala Mara, and good evening to me, brother Simbi Pierre. And waiting me to ask, uh, Doc, is waiting this country, if you observe the entire salon, 80 to 90 percent of all the investors then are this country and are foreigners. No better Sierra Leoneans and other uh, 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 investors in the country. Now, if a doctor be the flag bearer and be the president in this country, how did he try to uh, negotiate with these foreign investors? We we the Sierra Leoneans and see them. We know they invest in our own country. Then, I want. then what do they try to suggest is everybody we want to stand for flag bearer, another a presidentship in these countries for try to get an investment or company where at least they will employ two to three thousand Sierra Leoneans. So at the end of the day, if it's if you country money, you're not going to forget again because they think say uh, go put an new development or new investment. So now that uh, me they think of uh, Mr. Thank Moderator, you. because thank because you very much. Country, thank you. A very important question. Now thank you. You don't make your point. So let bring in Mr. Mboizi Karimu. Let's make him point, please. Mr. Boise Karimu. Okay, if why? You, if oh. if, if, if oh, you mute, oh, if you. Yeah, oh, I did, yes. So, um, Mr. Okay. Conte, Richard Conte, I really just get forget a yes and no question because of the time. If I'm allowed, please. Yeah, well, please take to say the call from and then I, you, you show yourself from London, actually. Um, when I research, I have Um, the first question I want to know, um, about the sewage. sewage. Um, okay. yes, as somebody we not enforce, uh, we get the we spe we not specialist in fisheries before whatever they do now in a law as a lawyer. Um, I believe, say, the reason why we know the export, we marine resources, where I believe, say, they're even valuable as diamond, they can able to take care of the whole Sierra Leone, now because of, we will not take water seriously in our life. Um, if, what in the law that we get for put, for make sure, so say, people, they don't abuse the water, they don't defecate upon them, it becomes sacred, if we even, them for up to up to treasonable kind of a criminal offense for defecating. Okay, the environmental act, yeah. Environmental act, but now what are more? Because if the reason why I believe they're not allowing now because we don't get sewage. What are the plan then where the way dock gets for sewage in the country? Okay. Secondly, to every advantage, that's a disadvantage. Um, I'm very impressed with dock. Um, especially I believe same one of his strength them. Na finance. Um, what thing will be the disadvantage to we Israelians there if him become flag bearer and he not become a finance minister? What thing are the disadvantage? Because to every advantage, there's a disadvantage. But what thing will affect the people in the country and the disadvantage of a leader? So what thing will be the disadvantage okay. to Sierra Leone if somebody who is so strong in finance become a flag bearer? What thing are that disadvantage? That's not three. Sec okay. uh, two. Number three, just a quick one. Now, yes or no questions. The okay. third, the third one is about um, mosquito. Then they kill we. Where we can have power, would they swear say would they protect the lives? But not, would they, the, the very night where they swear the mosquito don't kill two hundred in the country or ten or okay. twenty. That means say, we don't okay. already don't falter. What thing we get for do? We we go get a a, a, a plat pal platoon for fetch mosquito. I know myself if you get forget mosquito police, or for eradicate mosquito in that country. You go call, bring investment, you go bring people there for settle there because they're used for call serial on the white man's screen. That's not true. The last one okay. about yeah, coffee. Yeah, 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 I agree with you. But I think, Doc, to be honest with you, in, when you talk about mosquito and a part of the health sector, that way you don't answer. Well, when so, they say health, yeah. Israel don't understand about going to the hospitals. I'm talking about mosquito. Every day they kill me. Okay, that's okay. okay, that's what fine. For, particularly for eradicate mosquito. 
Now okay, question. carry on. Last carry on. Question. Ask. We are the last one on the list. I want to ask the, uh, Doc if it's possible they go legalize Kongosa. Then I want. Thirdly, <laughs> if they criminalize lies. Fourthly, they go criminalize tribalism and nepotism. You lie about okay, it. Why are you in this place? I stop me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Mr. Karimu, thank you very much. You don't make your points, sir. Mr. Conte, Richard Conte. Yeah, Richard Conte, sorry about Richard that. Richard Conte, so then you get what Richard Conte did. I you. understand you concern about the marine resources then and the impact of that in, in real economy. Um, okay, so that brings me now, really, so, so some of you don't put them as well before. We have Sarabula, please. Sarabula, um, please. sorry about that. Mr. Mara, you can answer all these questions. Yeah. Good evening. Time later. Yeah, I know that thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because I five five with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Good so evening, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, would they hear you, please? Yeah, Hello? yeah, yes. Yeah. Sarah Ula, do on meet you, please. Sorry. Yeah. On meet her. Please, Hello? sorry. Yeah. Are they hearing me now? Yeah, would they hear you? Okay. Una, good evening. Um, sorry, I didn't know. Um, but I'll be one really ask Dr. Mara um, a um, question regarding the health. Though it don't answer some of them, but they come in and out. I get a bit of a concern where I'll be once make you able for clarify to we um, like what you go get for can do regarding these private hospitals them where they so plenty in the salon. We we not able for understand we are not able for understand how then they really audit them because as any time I go na salon I they make sure say I go na then different hospital there so I can go do me own um, um 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 viewing or studies for see how then they work but it really really pathetic Mr Mara for see how many people them where then they access that service. And they die in their hospital, and they, took, you know, so the worst. So I've been really want to know when Dr. Mara becomes the flag bearer and the president of Salon, which kind of auditing body you go able to put in place? We go to scrutinize them people there, so when they come, say then our private doctors them from okay. outside or wherever. Okay, mechanism for controller sector, they right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Modesto, Mr. Modesto, this um this I think pass through just for which the next if you get on an online meeting again because yeah. uh, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Charlie yes. for I will let, yeah, yeah, please I would like for yeah I would like for apologize to uh, the one yeah. that would, would not get the opportunity for ask question. Yeah. Please apologize uh, Zoom meeting because we have Mr. Do is me and for long and then uh, they will respond to me it's but we said one contribute small from Australia, but it's no problem. We'll do it another meeting anytime. Yeah, yeah. and way, way Australia, I'm not saying our own time to you, and I'm really sorry about that because really, yeah. yes, um, I wish you probably know. This is our money, then this is around uh, um, 10 o'clock now to 11. Australia, what's my, what's my last question, please? Yeah, if, what's if, my, what's if you you I mean, I can start in the place of the brother, Tamba, if you give me bullet point question, no more, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. not mind but postpone me on you say something. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, just say something. Yeah, yeah. go on, go on. Um concerning but uh, what's me uh, ask Dr. Mara? Um concerning about the employment uh na salon now we can't see and uh, because right now we don't face it now this particular uh, government we cancel, people will get experience for over 30, 40 years, we then come then pull it all. This is one of the things this way they fail the, the country. And then people are they're employment here, so they don't get experience for over 40 years. They kind of pull it, they put people in who don't get experience. What did Dr. Malaga for do to us them system in the because and uh, when another government come in come as a president, we I get for arrange this situation in the okay. Yeah, injustice, just yeah. work, work thank related. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, 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 now they ask if Dr. Mara come, if he said go remove all the one they wouldn't get experience. Yes, yes, no, yes no, exactly. No. Right? So because... now, now what do you go put in place for address that yeah. kind of situations? Then they right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Okay, so thank you very much. And I thank tell everybody, so thank you. So do, um, before Dr. Mara responds to all in, comment and, and clarifications asked here and questions then, do send them here. I want to come to the closing point of this thing now. I will ask you after Dr. Mara don't talk, let's give you both of thanks, please. So prepare yourself for that. Sorry, we'll pick you at random. And Dr. Mara, la, 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 the, the wall is in your court, sir. Or meet yourself, sir. Or meet yourself. Okay. Um, I want to say a big thank you again to the people that were asked the last set of questions. Kusma Will, New Jersey. We talk about audit reports and, and improvement. In fact, I was Minister of Finance. It will appear that um, they don't really pay attention to audit. No. The audit they look at now the external audit. We get internal auditors across government. And as Minister of Finance, I mean, we we'll focus on them one day, ensuring that we take a look at the quarterly report. I can assure you, say, if you take a look at audit reports, then, especially the tender, they, they aren't as bad as they did now or even previous before I come. That I can tell you. Um, if you look, even when we get the Ebola situation, for the first time in the history of this country, we get a president where they say we have real time audit. Whatever happened, the level of sincerity that everybody wants to make today in the government. Today, in the middle of a crisis, a crisis will threaten lives and everything, then do real time audit. The thing they go up, they do that audit. It shows how committed we were to transparency and accountability. It not happen in Liberia, it not happen in Guinea, but it happened now. So sometimes, as they say, when things happen, not of all just criticize, they look at the principle behind the action way the leadership take. That decision with President Koma will take is very, very unique. I know they happen every day. Now, I want to tell you, say, when I've been there as Minister of Finance or when I've come, when they issue them, will be need for tackle. Before you focus on even that audit as a force, major, major things in the way of the country. One of them are that the domestic level of borrowing is so high that interest rates will be between 19 and 27 percent. Many of you say that that, that not make sense. So the first thing I do now for go for zero borrowing for six months, I don't borrow domestically. All the interest rate drop below five percent and we make huge savings of over 200 billion. Other things you get for know in government apart from auditing, now that to contribute the practice incremental budgeting every year, people just they add what they need from government every year, they add and say, No, stop that. Put all this, what they ask for, into activities. Because of that prudent and strong way of budgeting, it helps you for make savings. So if you read and tell they not just the growth. But because of the strategies that we put in place, and I call them, you know, strong fiscal management measures, cut waste panel, and many things will be established, they go a long way for help we for fix the problems there at the, at the state, especially for ensure that you will be in the higher. You know, we set up transparency, Sierra Leone, when I did a state house. And these are some of the things we get for bring back. And they always go back to that. Because not only when you track, not only when you measure what in the happen in the economy, you give citizens then the, the, the opportunity for letting them know what happen in each sector. Not only when you do that, now they realize the results then go, you don't set yourself saying this is our for it. So I want gravy on indulgence for say, if I'm president, the internal audit report will be discussed in cabinet. And through my performance management system, I don't get for which for the external audit card. Fiscal management therefore be part of the report will be presented on a quarterly basis. When you do under with it, we are not even get for it for external audit because we can know will be as bad as it always. Development and integrated strategy. When you put that strategy forward, it works. So I want I want crave indulgence for letting you know that we know what you do and eventually 
Jedia, and Oka Hapuna. I go to this woman where one sleep, who is a uh, agriculture that is for nature and the part of the world where they agree. And I want to let you know, the conscious of her, if you've been reading the document, it clearly tells you exactly the angle they come up from. Agriculture, therefore, they are the four. For get some to know, but also for improving environmental profile for meet global standards. In fact, one thing we are not ever I shall not mention that today. Now that we go for one man, one tree, that for a period of five years, every Sierra Leone they plant one tree. That will be facilitated by paramount chiefs, by district and city councils for ensure that every Sierra Leone can do that. And I want to let you know, in conscious of all of this way they say, such that personally and this not to government, try for rehabilitate the road, for example, from Kabbalah to the foot of the Pintuman Deep. Then for push ecotourism forward and for ensure that we improve on wildlife opportunities. So I want to let you know it is in this document that with the early fears that most of the things they talk about we know therefore do and for me to become an environmentally responsible nation. Now one of the things I want to know and it is here that for me, we take a look at the plastic waste room within the everywhere our beaches and our streets and everywhere at the country, and they go for a paper bag policy. When we get factory where they, where, they, where, they, where, they, where they manufacture and get three paper bags and scale back on plastics, it will go a long way for me to get a sound environmental society. So that's not some of the things that we put in place, excuse me, for improve on the environmental profiles. Um, Ibrahim Kamara, um, he said it's difficult for see better salary in person and investors. Now, what it is, where we serve the discuss every day, it's difficult for me to see a good number of salary and investors who don't, they don't come up and maintain that level and continue for the that way. But don't forget that we may only to talk tonight. I tell you, I say, we put together the diaspora investment initiatives. And that we are therefore be part of them for this year. This committee then therefore support the high commissioners and the ambassadors. Why then therefore do that? Because when the business system they come, when they become partners in their business system, into their business system. So I think that some of the opportunities that this will open to the diaspora for ensure that in a position in a certain economy and get a foothold. So for form investment committee, the innovation committee, and the investment potential board they talk about, I think to say are opportunities for the diaspora, and I they ask them for me to take advantage of them and see them as an opportunity. I want to come to Richard. Uh, thank God I don't get one specialist in fisheries. Please, uh, I want the moderators and take note of them. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, because me, me, they look for experts, uh, you know, for can help the economy. And I want to let you know that me splits the government into three major clusters, the green, the white, and the blue economies. So I think to say, you know, one strategy we will help, strategies we will help you for as to how we improve the blue economy. Now, about the, the, the sewage where you talk about, the one where the British then left is in a mess right now. So I want to tell Sierra Leone said this, especially when I were in the diaspora. You know, every wonderful thing that they enjoy under, I take time for let them fix them. I can't be president and come and tell when I said fix the sea with now. No. I can forget sincere conversation with you. That is why I say we they empower the local councils to near independence. That's not the responsibility of the local councils. The government can do it all. So that not some of the things that we get for when you empower the local councils. And I've been not telling when I say they therefore strengthen them, twinning opportunities. I'm sure if they get experts overseas and come through development partners or through government, I'm sure some of them in the neighborhood work, but not will happen immediately. You talk about mosquitoes. And I listen to the way they talk and they smile. Because tell us so we get 2.2 outpatient malaria cases every year. How will be small? We know we know say typhoid day in this country. But we know we're there under the area say today na typhoid malaria. In fact, they use for call Sierra Leone as a white man's grave in history. 
Because malaria may go man and run away. So they would need to control them. In countries like Singapore, they don't go a long way for manager. So the social reform agenda they talk about, like I tell me, sister, iPhone lady, that if you, for example, are minister of health and one of the assistants are responsible for sanitation and hygiene, they get for ensure through a performance contract that to scale back malaria cases at certain tolerable, tolerable level, including typhoid. That will help cities and people for improved sanitation. Mosquito law will go If you not improve sanitation and hygiene, we will for improve them. That is why whoever they had this particular sector get for get them contracted. Sierra so Leoneans get for get used to what they say. And if you miss out on that particular target to set for you, they go other person come. Then it will become systemic. We will accept and say, now so we country. Then. You get for reach a point where then they say, well, mm, this you don't come up and play. You sure? What if for just say you are a minister, no? Will they take this? We agree on the performance. And we'll agree on our area of transparency. Say, look, man, this you don't any side. Even if it now could go like they on a summer land day, it is able to track the performance. So, um, Mr. Conte, that is what we're going to do. We're going to set target for malaria, typhoid, and other things. But again, train expert them for ensure that we move on the health sector. I don't know what you mean as to how for legalize Congo, sir. But what I will tell you, sir, is when it comes to tribalism, trust me, we're for scale that part. When you need a country like this, if you want to go forward, you're not going to forget any lessons when you see tribe all over the region. Small country, 8 million. I think the better we want for be, therefore, in a very strong way, goes around and leave us a people. I agree with, with um, Sarah Gulam. We talk about private hospitals. Yes, regulations, as I tell you, I regulatory institutions have their capacity. You know, they talk about the development, salon, this, salon, that, salon. We can forget to say the agencies who they regulate their sectors. The capacity not in the family. The new training, they need the right equipment, but not just that, the mindset for ensure that they're promoting and for do so that that particular sector will thrive. So we we'll don't talk this evening about fake drugs. What do we do for the pharmacy board? What do we do for the standard bureau for ensure that that won't happen? What do we do to the agency we're responsible for regulating and private hospitals? Will some of you come on board to do that? Or should we have you know, uh, uh, um, outsource that? These are some of the things that we already talk about the social reform agenda for ensure that the mentality of the Serena to some extent is being pushed towards the point of transforming this country. If we don't do that, it will be tough and difficult for you. Somebody talked about employment issues, and the last speaker from Australia, people been not in a government for 40 years and can't improve and replace all the other hotel people. When I cannot just get to go down the path and sack people and repeat the same mistake. But I'm sure we get to take a look at the agencies and institutions and ask yourself, how do we improve on them? You know, I want to tell us that. When government they sack people like agencies, then they get and wrong at that scale. When you create possibility frontiers, people they left government for going on the private sector. And that private sector will be for the government. So ask yourself, within a year 2023 from June, when the president, so in the next six months, you get a good number, I'm not going to say plenty, but a sizable and encouraging number of private sector institutions will become, trust me, the opportunity frontier as we go open for wealth creation and jobs, which everybody remember, everybody remember for go work for government. And the skills development that they talk about, who we invest in skills development, when people get the requisite training and capacity, so no kind of government, and we go to the private sector. When you create possibility frontiers, government only create an environment that the private sector create jobs. Now they will go for good time. 
for ensuring that government says that. So I want, I, I want to say thank you to now all. I think we don't go far. Um, it don't pass midnight. Um, then tell me some last set of questions. We get yeah. the platform we are online. Yeah. And we, we host that people can, can ask questions online and are ready for answer them. As long as the questions can come online, over and above that, if they wish, I will talk to them on the phone one on one for address yeah. the issues that we can raise with me. Yeah. Already, I don't do on that. People may send me WhatsApp messages and they take me time to respond. Sometimes I call them. So, Lono close this platform. If you ask me, I will say tonight, not begin forget the directory of diasporans with the work in various sectors and see how we collaborate going forward. And they say this selflessly for the good of the country. Unless and until we able to get that directory of the experts as the Ghanaians and they do, and see who say capacity and strength in each of the sectors, they will struggle for transforming the country. Tonight, if I have just foreclosed, I'm for say I don't learn a lot. And I'm for say every comment you want make, I take them very seriously. And for me, I know we say I'm fulfilled, but to some extent, I'm encouraged by one thing that we get a good number of Sierra Leoneans and the diaspora who join me for discourse, the ideas, and for make the new inputs. So I just put that they say that no one can know it all, do it all, or do it alone. And concerted effort by several individuals, and they make the change with a nation. So I want to say a big thank you to now and wish you all well and hope so we stay connected and, 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 and ensure that we continue to keep it. Tight. So finally, on our own part of this dream, let us work on it, let us push it. I know when I talk to Sierra Leoneans, I know they see green, I know they see red, I know they see plenty of colors, I know they see C4C, I know they see anything. I do only see Sierra Leoneans. Yeah. You know, once upon a time, we need this kind of experience, we need this kind of change. We need for go up. We need for go for up. If we go for up, it will help we. You know, once I go Holland, and I'm sure if Barry they are around, they will, they will get this. We all did it. I say, anyhow, cold blue wind and Europe, you are no with man. One day we'll get for go back to the country. Either you can inside box or you left yonder, or you come here on your own. The water no they run well, lights no they well, infrastructure no good. We'll get for draw a line and say, let's make that sacrifice. That is why some of us are in this. Because we get for make that sacrifice. And yeah. for put this together for share and return, not only now, rest of the country and say, join me to make it, to turn it into a better document. So I want to say, bravo to now all for some of the wonderful ideas we put forward today. We will document and make an addendum to this document so that tomorrow if I'm flagged there, all will be part of, all will be part of the manifesto. So I want to say, thank you so very much and good night. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you very much, Doc. Thank you for the sharing of you thought today and the one who didn't come to this program back. I appreciate that. Uh, my apologies to the one who didn't able to ask questions then. But now we'll let for hand over the baton to me, brother. Send the fear. Will we all yeah, know me, from we had? Let's just yeah. give the last vote of thanks. Yeah, be before that, guys, um, we don't share the document wi widely on the message box, the chat box. So mm. they want to download them and they want to read them, please. Yeah. Mm. Bro, and I'm used to contact us. So, yeah, yeah so the brother said the fear, please. As we all know now, it's on late, and my apologies again. We don't go beyond time. But now, because this this issue will be neighbor, it's essentially very important, you know. So, yeah, uh, and the ball on your court, Mr. Sembe Pierre. All right. Um, I want to tell you all plenty, plenty thank you for the time we on our own take. Because right now, to some people, them. Um, at midnight, some almost cross midnight going to morning. Yeah. And well, I appreciate everybody. The time we wanna take it shows that um, we get responsibility and uh, not only for just listening to um, people that we want power, but for as well hold them to account because most of the questions they wanna do ask are uh, pretty sure say it don't go down a record. Now for tomorrow, if it happen for be the flag bearer, eventually be the um, president. Where we can call caretaker and then we will get for the reminder of some of them in commitment there so 
Um, but before I complete the vote of thanks, I want to um, give small advice to we all within at the platform now, I mean, at the Zoom meeting. You know, some of them think they are a very important that we take and very serious, you know. But some think in the, um, the, the host, the organizers themselves for take care of the mic then. Because when once somebody they do something somewhere else, we no call for it, they disturb the meeting. And this not like any serious meeting where you all in a conference all with dignitaries them, not the same thing because everybody come out from different backgrounds. So you get for control certain things the way they come out from your own side and notice say where you did and then zoom it in here. So especially where you meet with different people them now sort of respect you actually get for know how you present yourself now that they make they hold you very well they say how you create your bed now so you go lead on there so this is not just caution for the next time for we all where they come we get for no say this na meeting and a serious serious thing we get for do it we country if we get for point finger upon politician then we get a thing say we get for look back because when you point one finger you know say the four finger they point back to you so we get for know how we do things them if we want for all them to account but now it's time that I want for telling all plenty plenty thank you for una time um, for una um you know question them they're very brilliant although not to all man able for ask question I want for apologize and to the one that's where they watch on YouTube and Facebook a lot of them get question around constitution and other things them you know hospital you know especially the constitution we um then want for see how it figure into your manifesto because they say the constitution and the system where you talk about then they make a better country so in the future we'll get for look into that one day we are going to ask that you put that one day in um as a note for the next time we will actually meet because it's very very much important so the one that we use the opportunity you know for create the zoom you know for send the link for one that we share the one that we just come then participate the one that we come and observe one for telling all plenty plenty thank you because it's very much important that we all meet um dr mara thank Thank you very much you know at least you 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 able forget the time for actually they talk to people and especially the one in the diaspora because plenty of people are there right now most of them even when then they talk about things the way they happen when they see them picture and they see them they, they video them and they afraid for come so then they look forward for see how best if you happen for take up this particular mantle how if person criticize you and not will actually afraid for go back in country because it criticize you for thin way they go on at the country where it feels say you know um they go on very very bad so one more time, I want to tell you all plenty thank you, and uh, I wish you all you know well as you all they go back to a different different uh, business them we on a commode form, and Dr Mara and we as well want to wish you well. Um, uh, we just hope and pray that you uh, all get the level playing field for compete in this particular competition um, as inter inter intra party and as well as in, if you get for extent or inter party, you know we wish you very very well as you they take up this very big venture and we pray that you know you get the kind you know wisdom knowledge and understanding for able for take up this particular you know mantle with the kind thing we Sierra Leonean then deserve not to that kind thing where we see so right now one more time I want for appreciate tuna and I want for tell you again thank you for when I give me the opportunity I don't be feel say I go say anything because me own and all I can play now for just ask a question not over tell thank you but in this case i appreciate that when i give me the opportunity for that tell thank you so one more time um on all thank you and thank you and thank you and uh, lastly let not forget although now if don't come for slow tell go thank you that then this thing happen and we look forward for another engagement of this nature and maybe the one we grant past this yeah, so one more time, one for tell all plenty, plenty thank you for we take part in this particular activity. We now on YouTube, now on our Facebook, we the watch. We don't, we don't see una una comment them. We appreciate una all concern them. We're very sorry if they don't answer una. But one more time, everybody, thank you very much, thank you very much, Doctor Mara, thank you, and God bless we all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We lay ambush for you today. So <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I know really say okay, it thank you, like thank you, we no, appreciate. Thank you, thank you, Pierre. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank Dr. You, Dr. Everyone. I will, thank I will you. ask you privately. I get a serious question for you. Yes, but yeah, that are later that you go ask Dr. Nick. Okay, thank you. Good night. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. Well done.